If you if you in New York and it's your first day yeah. and you come here, I'm not gonna send you to like you let be you like do, the bodega. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> nah, I'm gonna let you do if on your first day, I'm gonna let you because it's gonna be eye opening. The first time you see a guy masturbating on a train, you're gonna think of something wrong. But I'm gonna be like, listen, <laughs> relax. This is not he's just that's what he does. He sits on that side, don't worry about it. He's harmless. <laughs> Hey, welcome to another episode of the Analysis Podcast. Man, it's been going amazing. I've had so many great guests and I really want to keep it going, man. I really want to keep it going. Yeah. So today I have a great guest with me. This guy's special. Not because he has a comedy special, but he's special, <laughs> man. And I, you know, you know, guys, I got to give him the intro. So we're in number 11. Just a regular kid from Queens, New York. Ian Lada. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. But man. Man, I I was thinking about it, I was like, first of all, even, you know, I told I was talking to one of my friends like months ago. I was like, man, this, this guy is coming up so fast. Like, look at his special. And then all of a sudden now I got other people. Which you know they didn't. I didn't tell them. They're like, man, you, you know this guy. You follow him. You That's. Know? I mean, it's. <laughs> I don't believe that. But no, <laughs> seriously, seriously. You're lying, but uh, I appreciate it, man. It's uh, it, it's crazy because you know I've been I've been doing comedy for twelve years. Like I've been grinding like every night in New York City for yes. twelve years, and and you grind for so long, and it's for so many years. Like nobody has any idea about anything. And then all of a sudden people are just like, oh, I've seen your stuff, I like it. And you're just like, what, for real? Cause you're just so used to like everyone not having any idea yes. about your stuff. So every time I see it, it's like, great. Like I, I'm, I'm always shocked. Like sometimes I have people like, this happening more and more. Like I'll be walking through like the airport and somebody yeah. want a photo and they'll be like afraid to ask. But I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, come get it, come get the photo. <laughs> I'm like, hell yeah, you can yeah, you, get a photo. You, you uh, I think you're in that stage now. Like I, I think, yeah. I think once you like, you know, you, you're at great pace and you, what you're doing is great. Yeah. And once you keep going, coming up with great stuff, at some yeah. point it's going to become a little bit. I I, I mean, I, I'm always grateful. I was, <laughs> I was, I was on a, um, I was going to, uh, I was just in Africa. I was in oh, right. Kenya and we, I was on a flight. It was, it was like a 15 hour flight. And I was, we was going, uh, when we was going there and like, probably like 10 hours into the flight, like it's nighttime, like, cause you fly through the night. So it's nighttime. It's like probably like three in the morning and all the time. So everybody's sleeping. And I got up to go use the bathroom. And when I was in the bathroom, like this dude that was sitting like behind me, like he got up after me. He was like, are you the dude? And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's me. He's like, you mind if I get a photo? I was like, all right. So I just got, the, <laughs> I cleared it. So I was like, yeah, now nah, let's do it. I was, I'm just hyped that people know my work. Anytime people can know my work. That's cause, good. Cause now it's like so hard. It's not like back in the day, like back in the day, if you would have done the things that I've already done, I would have been like a household name. Like I've done the Tonight Show twice. I did. Comedy Central half hour HBO special, oh. but now you still gotta like yeah. But how many followers you got though? <laughs> you know that's what it does. It does. We, we live in the in the era of like social media. Yeah. Too, so yeah, like, which is a gift and a curse. It's nice because you could get it. You don't gotta wait for nobody to give you nothing. You could just get it yourself. Thanks. But then it's also like, but damn, I wish it was 1990 again. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. That's so yeah. true. But so let me. Okay, you know what we have in common, right? You know we're like five brothers. Yeah, yeah. We have a couple things in common, but yeah, yeah. You, you, you the, you the youngest. No, I'm not the youngest. I'm so I'm the second oldest. Okay, second, second oldest. oldest. But you're yeah. the youngest. Though. I'm the youngest of five. Yeah, not five boys though, but the youngest oh, right, of five. Right. Yeah, it's I'm, it's two boys, three. How boys. is that? Is it was cool. I, I'm the youngest by a lot. Like my oldest sister is like 18 years older than me, so she was like oh, another sure, okay. mom to me. So okay. I, I'm the youngest by a lot because my mom was married and she remarried when she met my yeah. dad after she had she was married for a while. Like I always say the joke, my mom succeeded at marriage twice. Like she was married for like 25 years, then got divorced, and then was married for 30 years. <laughs> so she was like she did it both times, you know. Yeah. Um. So so I'm the youngest of things. So it was cool. Like we was a close family. Like we still close to this day. Like all of us are close. I. I remember I didn't used to want a big family, but now like I kind of want a big family. You want a big family? Yes. Yeah, yes. I want a big family. You know what it is too? I like like the support system and the yeah. and the people to not only rely rely on just the people to have close to you, you know, yeah. and plus and, you and gotta, holidays too. You gotta wedge <laughs> your bets though, because you know you're gonna have some fuck ups on it, right? So <laughs> you gotta give it for two of them that's gonna go on their own route. You got at least I got these three, that's cool. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. I I never thought about that. People used to, you know, a lot of people like Old days used to say that a lot, like you gotta have a lot of kids, you gotta yeah. do this. And now, 
and I say a lot, I'm not talking about like four or five. I'm talking about like 10, right? 10. My mom was the my mom was the youngest girl of 10. She was 11. It was 11 of them. Yeah, my mom yeah. too. My mom and my dad, like, ten, like 11 and 12. Yeah. Because the way I see it now, I'm like, if you got the money, why not just have mad kid? Like, you might as well Nick Cannon it, right? Because you got the money. You might as well be out here. Because <laughs> the only thing that's stopping you really is the money. But if you can afford it. It is, but it's time too. Like, you really... The thing is, you got to be present, you know? Like, you got to- No, you put on YouTube, they'll watch Peppa Pig. <laughs> no, you don't you need to that. <laughs> no, no, you can't do that now. Like, nowadays, with everything that's going on, and, like, uh, I think you guys call it, like, a ADHD? Yeah. Like, yeah. like it's, it's a thing. It's real. Like, with, oh, like for us, yeah. overseas, and we see it, like, we're like, man, we really, like, <laughs> we shut the stuff down. Yeah, like, we don't, yeah. Yeah, no. Nah, as I, much as we can. Obviously. Ideally, ideally, you want to have it with the same person, right? So, you're in the household, I, ideally. But if you can't- <laughs> have well, the wait. kids so okay so you did you've done the tonight show right i did it twice twice yeah. yeah how was it yeah it was great the first time it was me alex rodriguez and celine dion those are the three guests um that was crazy because being like being uh i'm from the dominican republic that's where my yes, family yes. comes from so being in the, I, I i got my that was the first time my dad and my mom got to see me do stand up i was already doing it i was doing it for like seven eight years but i never brought them because i didn't want them to see me doing it in like some basement in new york city because they were going to be like they're immigrants they're gonna be like what are you do you wait we came here for this <laughs> like we we left our countries so where you could do this so i didn't want to bring them to that so i wanted to bring them to the tonight show so it was crazy because I had my dad, my mom, my sister, everybody, and Alex Rodriguez was like in the next room, another Dominican baseball player who we look up to. And my dad was like, oh my God, Alex Rodriguez is there. This is so crazy. But then Celine Dion was like in the other room. And then when he found out Celine Dion was there, he was like, I want to meet Celine Dion. <laughs> He's like, I, I, I can meet Alex. I want to meet Celine Dion. So that was a perfect experience because my mom passed away in 2021. She got sick and she passed away from cancer, but she got to see me do stand up like in the thing right. before she passed and she got to see kind of it growing. So that was like a big deal for that. That's good. Yeah. That's and good. the second time I did it was just this past uh, October when I was promoting uh, the special and that was special for me, obviously. One, it was uh, like, which, which special? Romantic comedy on Romantic HBO. Romantic comedy on HBO. Yeah. <laughs> Streaming on Max. Yeah, on Max, yeah. Um, and that Make was sure you got to watch it, man. Yeah, please, please watch it. That was a big deal because I got to, uh, first of all, I was, I was with The Rock. It was me, The Rock, uh, Camila Cabello, and Lil Baby, which like, I was like a fan of all of them. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is crazy. It was Lil <laughs> Baby and The Rock. I got The Rock came up to me after. He was like, yo, funny stuff. He looks uh, like a cool dude. Man. He's the coolest. He's the, he's the, the Rock is the epitome of Hollywood. Like, like I, I remember I was like, cause you show up to the Tonight Show, it's in, it's in the city in Manhattan or whatever. And I was there and this was my second time there. So I was a little bit more comfortable when I got there. I was like, all right, like they know me here. Like I know, I know Jimmy already. I've done it before. Like I was a little comfortable. I was wearing a little shirt, a little tight shirt. You know, I had went to the gym and then The Rock came through. Like, he came through with like a tank top. I was like, where's my jacket? I, I can't be out here. I ain't gonna be out here showing my arms like this. The Rock, he's like a, he's like the epitome of like Hollywood. Like he's like the biggest star and he got like a whole team and you get to see like, this is Hollywood, but he's like the nicest dude. Like he came up to me after we good. talked, we joked around for a little bit. He's like, it was dope as hell. Good. Um, but that time was special because I actually got to do the couch with Jimmy. Like after I what? did my set, he invited me over to the couch and we got to speak about, I kind of, I, I was wearing a breast cancer pin in honor of my mom, uh, my late mom. And we got to talk about that. And I got to like kind of raise awareness for that. So that was like a, a special thing in that sense. Right. Yeah. And you know, I lost my dad 2017. I lost like, which was crazy, but I mean, at least he, he, he got to see us like, yeah, go through. I mean, I think, you know, I never talk a lot about my dad, but this guy, man, he had like, he might have like, he might have lived like 10 lives in one. Yeah. Like, he does yeah. so many things, you know, just yeah. from like so many up and downs and success and, yeah, yeah. And like, like everything. And, but it's good. It's good that they she 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 saw you, man. Yeah, that's that's one thing that like I, I mean, my mom she was she was relatively young. She was only sixty seven, but she got diagnosed uh, with colon cancer in stage four. So when she got diagnosed, it was already like it was already late. Like so, we kind of the writing was on the wall of what was gonna happen. But one of the things that gave me solace was like she really lived a full life, and she really did things how she wanted to do them forever. So like that's kind of like when when she passed, instead of me like. I mean, obviously I did spend my time where I was like sad and didn't want to, you know, not ready to get out there. But instead of me like spending all the energy doing that, I kind of focused my energy on like, let me try to live. My, I'm like, we're all going to go, right? We're all headed to the same place. Let me try to live my life the most I can 
like as much as like she did. Let me try to enjoy life. And since then, like I wrote the like I wrote most of the special, the romantic comedy. Most of that stuff was literally like from the time she got sick till after she to the year after she passed. Cause I was supposed to film and then she passed, so we had to push it back. Yes. A year, so I wrote all that. I've been all over the world. I went to Israel. I went to Jordan. I went to Turkey. I went to Africa. I was just in what, Dubai. What, so, so when was the first time you traveled outside the U.S.? Um, well, I, I used to go to Dominican Republic a lot, a lot. because that's where my but, family uh, but you know we call that like uh, yeah uh, uh, people from like not from here from overseas yeah. we call that U.S. Yeah, oh, not the US. Dominican Republic. No, nah, we don't call it U.S. But we call it like it's close. By and not well like, in distance, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> how many hours flight? Three and a half. Ah, okay, three and a half. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's okay. Yeah, so, but we're talking, I'm talking about like ten hours, bro. Like yeah, the long the first time I did like a long flight like that was Turkey. Turkey, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I went to Turkey. I did I did uh, some shows there. How old and were you? This was not. To, this was 2021. This was like 2021. Damn. Yeah. So you never flew like no. to really? No. Yeah. It was Turkey. And what'd you think about that? Um. When I went, it was okay. I didn't think it was that bad. Like okay. now, now I travel every week. Like now I'm on a plane <laughs> every week. And uh, I just did, like I said, I just did Kenya. It was 15 hours coming back. But I think like sometimes a 15 hour flight is sometimes easier for me than a four hour flight. Cause I guess I get into a headspace where I'm like, it's gonna be 15 hours. So just relax. As opposed to like when it's three hours, I'm like, when, when are we landing? When are we landing? What, you know, when are we landing? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I've done a couple of them. Like I went to, when I went to Israel and then I did the UK, I got to go first class, which that's a whole nother, you know, that's exactly. a whole nother. <laughs> I had a funny thing. When I went to Israel, I went first class to Israel and to, and I, I did a, a small tour over there. And then when I came back on the last flight, on the last seat of the plane, I came on the first seat and I, and I, and I, and I we're on the last seat of the plane, which uh, showed me the duality of life. You know? <laughs> it's a circle of life. Yeah, the yeah. Stock goes up and down. Yeah, yeah. The That's most important is. thing is to enjoy the ride, enjoy like yeah. the whole process. Yeah. That's the tough part. Like when you get recognized too, because like no, like my whole life you never get recognized, but like now you get recognized and you're like, damn, I'm in the last seat of this flight. I need to move up if, I'm, if people gonna be recognizing. They probably wondering like, no, he got an HBO special. Why he doing? <laughs> why he in the last row? You want me to tell you something funny? Yeah. So, I mean, this has happened to me like three, four years ago. I'm in a flight and it doesn't, like, it really doesn't matter, bro. Like, yeah. who, when I say this, unless you're with your family yeah. and you have like, I don't know, five, six brothers, seven, five, uh, like five, six kids, yeah, yeah. two grandmas, like just a whole, just you and your family, like 20 yeah. people, I get that. Yeah. And then you put a plane and you fly. If you, yeah. if you can afford it, then you can, and it's affordable for you to do, right? Yeah. But if it's just you, why would you want to, you know, why would you spend the money to just either fire a fresh class? It doesn't matter. It's just you, unless yeah. you're tall or something, right, whatever. Right, right. So this kid, look, this kid looks at me and uh, he, like, his eyes lit up. But when I say lit up, he's yeah. just looking at me. He's like, please, can I take a photo of this? That? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, sure. He's taking a photo. Yeah. After he takes a photo, he goes to his mom and all of a sudden, then his mom comes with me and he goes like, how come you don't fly in your own plane? Yeah, yeah. And I go like, why? <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna lie. If I saw you and you wasn't like, it depends where we was going. Like, cause obviously you're not gonna fly to Greece private. That's crazy. I mean, not for your brother. But, no, 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 but, it, no, but, no it, it depends. It yeah. depends because like I said, if you're flying, if it's just me, it's, yeah. if it's the boys, like why You we went flying? to Greece private? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I saw you and you was like not in first class, I'll be like, damn, what's going on with that family? <laughs> John is no, but cheap. Let me, but, but let me tell you, no, it's not that. It's not because hell, I, obviously. No, I know. That's what I would just. That was the that was the picture the, the, I would paint in process. my head. No. So the process is like, like I I, I kind of feel like, and I, this is this is all my mom and dad, right? If yeah. you have priorities, you kind of feel yeah. like, where where do I really want to be comfortable, bro? Sure. My home, like my yeah. home. Yeah, I imagine. Gotta be, you know what I'm saying? In Greece, yeah. Greece, that, that gotta, that, 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 you got like a villa? No, 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 not really. Probably much, though. Know, whenever you wanna let me know. Oh, man. Just, Every time I see pictures of Greece, it looks so beautiful. That's is. my, I, like, I gotta go there. I gotta go it to is. Greece. It is. Like, it is. And when people ask me, like, where you wanna what? go, I was always like, it was Africa. I wanted to go to Africa. Dubai was on the thing. I went to Dubai and Greece. You gotta come to Greece. You, yeah. you love it. You love it. And, and it's like a hidden treasure. I yeah. promise you. I promise you. So like I was saying, like you just, just have priorities and what do you want to like, and then you, and then you all like, like you would be surprised like this. I kind of feel like social media is taking over the top though. Yeah. Because social media just creates like a certain narrative somebody 
And then you feel like you got to keep up with the lifestyle. Like, let me give you an example, which uh, kind of the same age. So, yeah. and I'll tell you this, but you know, you're your grown man. So uh, it's up to you what, what you want to do. But let's say example, you start making a lot of money. Yeah. Right? You really don't want to change your lifestyle. And the reason is to a certain degree, you're like, okay, I really, you know, I want to eat better. Yeah. I want to sleep better. I want to have a nice bed. I want to like, okay. But you really don't want to change your lifestyle crazy because that adds a deficit to your earnings. Sure. And plus, if you think about it, if you have a special plate, like if you have a, like a goal and you want to get there, once you get there, you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. But if you along the way say like, oh, you know what? Just because I'm making this kind of money and I'm, go, I'm, I'm, I'm up, let me start doing private. No, no, I don't fly nothing but private. No, no, yeah. no, I don't do this. And, and why? It isn't because it's, that, it's gonna hinder. Yeah. Hinder, because yeah. It, it could be somebody who's making way less than you, but doesn't have the same cost. Yeah. And you guys could be going like this, and just because you're living a certain lifestyle, like it's kinda. Yeah, and my line of work too, like, I mean, in, in comedy, it's always like, a lot of times you 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 mention when you talk about comedians, you always like love their early work because they they always it's like a saying that like a comedian is uh is funny when they were on the bus, you know, when they was trying to get really? it. It's funny, they're very relatable. Everything you say is relatable, then you get famous, you reach a certain point, all your stories is about flying private and about <laughs> all the, when people are like, I don't know what you're talking about, you know? Bro. So like they, they say like you should try to stay like with the people as much as you can, they reach yes. a point where it's like you can't, right? It's like yes, Kevin yes. Hart. What is he gonna do? He's gonna be on Spirit. He can't fly. He's gonna fly. Oh yeah, no, no, private, of, you know? of course, of yeah. course. That, but then it becomes of being comfortable. Like, like, I don't expect uh, Janis or uh, somebody to go in and say, "Okay, I'm gonna fly uh, normally," because if you fly, they won't, ha they won't fly. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. But it's gonna be like, yeah, 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 like yeah. this, you right, know, right. just spoke yeah. like, "Hey, please, yeah. please," the whole yeah. flight, which is normal. And yeah. Janis wants to be nice, and we want to be nice, and every and everybody, yeah, like. You want to be nice, but it's well, it's a flight. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna try you to chill out, you know, yeah. chill with, especially with the kids or right. Well. So let me ask you something different then. Who do you think as a comedian flies private all the time? I mean, I know who does. <laughs> so who? I know, uh, I know, I know. Chappelle does. But he's not a. He's not just a comedian. But he's he's just, like we consider him like a superstar. Like, hey, he's a superstar comedian. He's a superstar comedian. Bro. Yeah, I was. He just. I was. I, I saw him last night. I was at the Comedy Cellar. And, but but I'll say this like it's called though, legendary figure. That's what that's what the word I want to yeah, say. Yeah, like, even though he flies private, he's probably like out of all the comedians who I've met, and I've met like most of like the huge stars. I've been around them. He's like he remains like the most like like normal as I not normal because he's like a superstar. He's like he he lives in his own like rock star world, which is like amazing to see. But he like he's not like. He'll come up to anybody. He'll talk to anybody. He's not like I would like love that. to meet like, him. Just like literally, yeah. I was having dinner yesterday at the comedy cellar, yes. and he walks in, no security, just him in a tank top, and he's talking to people at the thing. Like, and people's like, "You're Dave Chappelle." He's like, "Hey, man, what's up?" You know, what's up? Like, he's a super down to earth dude. Like, but but he was saying yesterday he was just home in Ohio, and he just was like, "Ah, well, let's go to New York to his wife," and they just got on the jet and came to New York, and then he just dropped in that's, to do comedy. That's different. Yeah. Like, hey, man, it's, that's that's a lot of years of work. Yeah, yeah. Into... No, I mean, obviously, he's like the big, <laughs> right? He's like top level, top. That's yeah, the yeah. top level of it. But uh, but um, but yeah, once you get to him, like he can't fly, up, right? Like we, you know, he can't even walk through the street. He has to have like a little team around him. Um, but I know, I know he does. I know Kev does. Ke uh, Kevin Kev Hart. Kevin Hart. Yeah, Kevin Hart. I know Cat does too. Cat Williams. Cat Williams. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all of them. I guess they got to right. Cat can't walk through the airport. <laughs> right. But all of them, like these guys, are like, like I love when you guys say the like he, people in the U.S. Right. Yeah. Say like the war, like oh, Mount Rushmore. Yeah. And they put like four people. That's so like. I don't like that. I never I don't do hate. That. I, like, I don't like. That. I hate a strong word to say, yeah. but I don't know. Just hate yeah. that because. Yeah, me too. It's completely it's arbitrary, so many right? People, like, it's, it's like you just make you you made it up, like it's not yes. a real thing, yeah. and then you and then you hold it, like you know, in the summertime when because in the summertime and there's no it's no like football hasn't started yet, and they they start making these things like because mm -hmm. the sports talk shows they got nothing to talk about, oh, so okay, they football, like NFL, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm right. saying before NFL starts, mm -hmm. like they talk about training camp, but then they got nothing else to talk about, like because there's not that much going on, so they'll start being like, so who's your Mount Rushmore of this, and you're like. 
why are we doing this? Why are we making a four when they're all great? Like my friends, they'll have like the LeBron Jordan argument a lot. And I'm like, why, why do we have to argue this? Why can't we just be like, uh, they're both just mad great. <laughs> That's it. That's all. Like, and, and, and I was like, you know, I would say like end of discussion. Like it's, it's one of those things that like, you just appreciate them because once yeah. they're not here, once yeah. they don't, like you don't see them every day. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna be like, oh. When people ask me, like when a lot of times people ask me like all oh, my favorite comedians, I'll be like, oh, I don't have favorites. I just have like a bunch of people I like and they're all like kind of at the same level for me. Yes. Yeah. So, so okay, let me ask you another question. How do you, what's the, like the mental preparation for you? Like to, to hit the stage and, and you yeah. like, or, or, or in a special or in a performance? Yeah. Well, I mean, to be honest, I'll equate it to this. Like, I remember I used to play basketball, like, in, in high school, like, junior mm -hmm. high school, whatever. And, but, like, I was, obviously I was never, like, uh, like one of the, the good guys. And my, my, I went to Christ the King. My high school was nationally ranked okay. when I went there. So it was, like, I used to see, like, the good kids playing. And, and when they would play, like, it would be, like, a packed house. And they would just yeah. come out and just play. And I would be, like, how do you play in, like, a packed house? Like, how, do you, how don't you get nervous? I would get nervous if I was playing basketball in a packed house and everybody was looking at me. I would get nervous because I realized later on that wasn't my thing, right? Like, that's, that wasn't my thing. Um, once I started doing comedy, at first, obviously, I would get nervous. But after doing it for, for like, a while, I realized, like, oh, no, this is my thing. So I'll get anxious before, like, a show, especially, like, a big show, like, taping a special or performing in, like, a big theater or something. I'll get nervous. But after a while, like, when it's time, when, you know, when I take the stage, I kind of take a piece of knowing, like, wait, but this is my thing. Like, even though there's all these people watching, like, you do this. You put in yes. the work. You put in the hours. Yes. I always say, I think, like, if you still getting, like, it's okay to get get anxious and a little jittery to get on but if you're still getting like super nervous i feel like you got to do the thing more right like do whatever you do more yes. and that nervous will go away like because it i used to get it but then i did it so much that it's gone away so now like Dang. i'll just i'll just get on stage like I'll, I'll i'll be like i'll figure it out like it's 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 fine there's a, there's a, you know we we say that all the time like a lot of and this is why, like, kind of my teammates were like, oh, Finesse, you would be a great coach and stuff like this. I'm like, yeah. I don't know if I would ever be a coach. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> the, the way I'll describe it, and I'll say it to, like, all the either teammates or, people, like, kids growing up now is, like, don't confuse being, ex like, excitement for, like, anxiety. Yeah, right. You know, don't confuse excitement. Like, it's 20,000 people. You're excited. Yeah. Right, let's, 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 yeah, yeah. You know, let's get to it. Yeah. Don't, don't use that to, like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so what you're saying is like just yeah. naturally response. Yeah. To the, when I when I filmed when I filmed the uh, the HBO special, we taped in Brooklyn. Like, and I you know I was born in Brooklyn. This is my hometown. From Queen, um, I grew up in Queens, and I remember like leading up to it. It's so much things you have to do when you tape a special. Like, first of all, it was like months in preparation of like scouting the place. How do you want the stage to look? Stage design. What are you gonna wear? That was like that took like a month to find out to, the outfit, uh, hair and makeup, and then you go and and do you have to do loading the the day before where they come and they put everything in, and then you have to do a walkthrough, and then HBO the people they come out and they're like, yeah, we're so excited, and it and that whole time I, I did have like anxiety I was like oh man like because I'm that's not what I do right like I don't do stage design I don't do camera work I don't do mics I don't do hair and makeup I don't that's not my thing but I noticed when the show came like I was nervous I was nervous I was you know anxious and then the show came like all right forget everything cameras on let's go shows on I was like I felt the peace where I was like oh, now this is what I do. <laughs> like, now everybody else is out of their comfort zone and I'm in yeah. mine. Like, I do stand-up. They don't do stand-up. They're just an audience, right? So, that like, I think that, but that came from, like, years of just doing it, like, in the worst places, like, in the worst places. So, okay. So, I'm actually, I don't think, do, do people walk up to you and, be, and go, like, and give you the, like the face, kind of the like, okay, say something, like make me laugh. Like, uh, say something. That happens sometimes, yeah, that happens sometimes, which I guess people think, <laughs> people think that comedians don't hear that. Like people think they're being like original, like, which is funny because like they think that there's like, that they're saying something like new or clever to you, but they don't understand like from my perspective, I hear this every day. Like what, so, so, so walk me through it. Like what would you, like they walk up to you? Sometimes I don't even like telling people, like if like, if you don't know, like somebody, sometimes you'll be like in an Uber and they'll be like, what do you do? I'll, I'll create a fake job. But then they'll have questions on the fake job and I don't have the answers. I don't have the answers to the fake job. So that that's good. That, that messed up. Like I remember one time I told somebody I was like, I, I told somebody I was an accountant and he was asking me accountant questions. And I was like, I'm not an accountant. 
I said, I'm not a comedian. But you tell somebody I'm a comedian, they're like, you know, they'll be like, oh, well, you don't, you, you look funny, or you don't look funny, or say something funny, or, yeah, all those things. They're trying to be clever. They're trying yeah. to be funny. I've learned that, like, they're just trying to be funny. So I don't get, like, I don't, but in my head, I'm like, he's corny. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's like the same thing. You walk in the elevator, like, like, look at you, it's so tall, like, how's the weather up there? Or like, yeah. stuff like that. You're like, you know, you laugh because it's like, okay, yeah, but at the same time, you're like, uh, I hear this a lot. I didn't hear this, like, yeah, like, this is not original like at all. Times. Yeah, <laughs> it's not original at all. Yeah, but uh, it's cool. I mean, I can't complain. It's just as long as people like appreciate your work, yeah, and they, you know, and they're kind of like respectful of your space, and yeah, not, like, yeah, it's, it's great. That will happen a lot. That will happen a lot, like with dating. Like, sometimes when you're dating somebody, like, it, it, like, and she found out she, you're a comedian, she'll be, you know, they'll be like. Oh, like I'm funnier than you, or like, or like, oh, you know. But you're just like, all right, man, like. So you've date like, so you, somebody has ever told you this, like. Yeah, I've had that many times. Like, met, like that's another one where it's like, this is not original. <laughs> like I hear this a lot. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, I bet I'm funnier than you. I'm like, and you're like, you know, what are you gonna do? Argue with that? You're like, all right. <laughs> but then you're like, all right, well, I'll give you a mic, and then let's see in a packed house if you can make them laugh for an hour. Oh, man. okay, so, so you've been doing this for twelve years. Now, yeah. Right? Have you ever had a night you were like? Man, this sucked. Saturday. <laughs> this Saturday? Saturday, Saturday, Saturday in Cincinnati. <laughs> yeah, it happens all the time. This is really? not, yeah, this in this art form, it's it's uh it's it's not there's no like coasting by like the best I've seen the best have off nights. I've seen Chappelle, I've seen Rock have off really? nights. There's no like you never reach a level where you where you're like, oh, I, like this is it. Which actually, to go back to what you said, there were times where I got too cocky and too confident. Cause you start doing a couple of things, you get like, all right, yeah, man, you like, feel I'm, like I'm doing it. You, yeah. Where I was about to go on stage and I didn't feel that anxiousness, that nervousness, and that's not good. Like, it's not good when you don't feel that. You gotta feel that. That's what that's like keep you like, all right, keep you in the. Sometimes you get too cocky, then those nights it doesn't go well. Yes. Yeah. Do you, but so how do you recover? What's your like? What's your Mental process. How do you just be like ah, oh, just bounce back? I mean, I equate it to like having a bad game. Yeah, okay. Like if you average twenty five, right? Who cares? Like, hey, I'm, I'm average. Off. I'm, I'm here twenty five next yeah, game. Yeah. Okay, okay. I was off tonight. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. So, is there anything? Is there any story that you were like, man, I would never forget this? Like I like either like uh, from a fan or in the city that you went to, you was like, no, I am never gonna forget this in my life. I had a couple of those stories growing up, cause I started in New York, which like, New York is like the mecca of stand up. Like, so okay. so every like big comedian comes through New York, at, you know, at some point, or if they, even if they live in LA, if they're in New York, they'll go, they'll yeah. go to New York. Um, but I had uh, the, the first time, and this is the crazy thing about when you do stand up, when you do stand up, you can go from like basically a nobody open micer, but you can be in the same rooms with some of the biggest stars, like just because that's just how it is in New York. Like, so I remember like early on, this was like probably like, I was probably like three, four years in at a, a, a stand up. I was in New York um, and it was a late show. It was like a Tuesday night. It was like a late show. I went up. I got off and I was watching and then Tracy Morgan came in and and uh, Tracy was uh, he you know, he's being Tracy, you know, and uh, he went up and then after he was just hanging out. We was just talking like in front. We just, and I'm in my head. I'm like, this is Tracy Morgan from 30 Rock from Saturday Night Live from Martin this is like the biggest, you know, thing to me. And uh, and and we're talking and like there's like a lot of people around him. But, you know, sometimes people get around um, famous people. They don't know how to like be cool. And I guess I was kind of just being cool. I was talking. He's from he's from uh, Brooklyn. I was talking to him just like a New Yorker and we was mm. kicking it or whatever. And he was like he was like, yo, uh, he's like, yeah, I, I don't want to go home. I want to hang out. He was like and then he goes to me. He's like, what you doing now? And I'm like. I was going home. I, I remember I had work in the morning. I had a day job there, but he asked me what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, nah, wh wh why? Wow, wh what's up? He's like, all right, he's like, all right, you come with me. He had like a crew with it. He's like, y'all go in the other car. You come with me. I was like, all right. So he's like, I was, I was like, all right, we walk in. He's like, all right, it was right there. He had the, he had the, I think the, the Phantom, the, no, the Rolls Royce, the Carter with the stars and the thing. I felt like a, I felt like a video model. I was in there like, oh my God, are these real stars? <laughs> So he put, so we get in the car. It's just me and Tracy Morgan. I don't know him. Like he's he's uh, he takes me in his car. We drive all around New York. We we drive downtown. He's just talking to me, and I'm like, I can't believe this is happening. He's just talking to me about the game he's giving me. Cause Tracy's crazy, but if you get him one on one, he's like a normal dude who's like has like a lot of wisdom to give. So he's telling me all these things. Oh, and the in the mentor. 
ship side. Like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Like he's giving me, like he literally was like, he, he literally was like, I, he's like, I'm gonna teach, he's like, I'm gonna teach you how to be famous. And and I was like, <laughs> all right, I don't know what that means, but all right. So we get in the car, we downtown, we talking, and he's like, he's like being no, like not being like the you know the yeah, no. the crazy. Um, the character, um, not to say he's a character, but I'm saying not no, being the, like the Tracy the, that you see. Yeah, um, so he's mean. being normal, and I'm like, all right, this is cool. So we get downtown, and we in front of the comedy cellar. We get out. We, we, he just parks in front, holds it. It's just like traffic and just hold that. He just got the the Rose Ridge blocking traffic, and uh, this homeless guy comes up to us who knew him from back in the day. He was like, Tracy, he was like, I remember you. you used to come back in the day, and Tracy was like, Yeah, I remember you, whatever. And then he was like, To me, he goes, He's like, Put him in a car. I'm like, What? He's like, put him in the back. I'm like, and put him in the Rolls Royce? And he's like, yeah, yeah, put him in the back. I was like, all right. So we we get this home. I mean, he's a homeless dude. You know, he, he's, then we put him in the back. We drive, we get in the car, we drive to a bank. He uh, he t he goes in the bank, he, he goes in the thing. He, t he tells me, he's like, yo, if, if the cops come move it. I'm like, no, I'm not moving your Rolls Royce, crazy. I, I can't afford to move this. He's like, if the cops come, just move it. And then he goes out and he he counts out like $2,000 and gives the homeless guy $2,000 and just sends him on his way. And then he's like, yeah, man, when you always never forget to like give back to like never, the people bro. and like, and, and, and thing. And I was like, damn, that was like a, like a, a crazy lesson because I wouldn't have put the homeless guy on my, I might just give him what I had. I wouldn't have put him in the back of the, in the back of the Rolls Royce, but. <laughs> That was I'm sorry, it was my first time like like doing a one-on-one -on -one interview with like comedian. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm no, no, yeah, that was crazy. I'm that, dying. that was crazy. But, um but yeah, like I said, you just get put in these in, in these scenarios like that's like this, this uh so I do like uh some like private like men mentorship. I I talk to like you know, I do some life coaching, some uh I'm not because I do some a lot of business, I do some business and basketball wise mm -hmm. to like privately, not like yeah. you know how people go and sell co courses and stuff. Like no, I yeah. just do it like privately to yeah. people who like you know to be like yeah, Tanas is like just talk to me. You know, let's say example like I'll have a family that has two or three brothers. They all play basketball, and then I'll just you know talk to them. Or they're yeah. like they all two or three three of them do like business or so they do something. Yeah. Or I'll have somebody who come up to me and say like, you know like I'm kind of in the same situation as you. I want to like, and then what everything I would say is like, listen, I don't want nothing. Yeah, I literally don't want nothing. The only thing I want is for them to do the same thing for somebody else. Oh, the pay it forward. Yes. Yeah. See, I have this I have this thing. I have this thing, not to interrupt you. I'm sorry. No, no, you I have this uh, thing. Um, it's a Drake line, but this is how this is how I live, how yeah. I try to like live my thing. I feel like cuz I equate I came up in sports, so yeah. I equate a lot of my the way I carry my like my life kind of to sports. And I when you coming up, when you coming up like as like an athlete, when you are trying to make a name for yourself, Scoring is a big deal, right? Because the scorers are what get the names for the yeah, thing. The score, so you you gotta score to 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 be known, especially like no one's counting the. St you gotta score to get your name up when you're coming up through the ranks. But once you reach a level of like, oh no, I'm who I am. Like, it's all about the assists. You gotta make other people better. So like Drake's line is like he says, lead the league in scoring, but check out my assists, which is like, yeah, you could lead. The There's a lot of great scorers. But how many assists, how many people are you helping? So that's how I always look at it. It's like, I I always, don't stop trying to score. Like if you are sure of who you are, just be who you are, but help people. Like help, that's help. more valuable to me. Yeah, it, it, it is, it is. And it's, the, it's that's how, people don't understand this, bro. If you become selfish, yeah. like it will, it, yeah. it's it's gonna, not to say it's, it's, you know, it's if it's good by you, it's good by yeah. you, but like I've been through my life, I've been through a lot of things, and I know, like the universe is here and it's watching. Yeah, you know, if you don't want to say God, which I'm really a religion, I say God is yeah. watching. I'll, Same. Just, you, we can say the universe. You can yeah. say whatever you want to say, whatever make, makes you feel better, but it's watching. Yeah, and that's how you, that, that's how you like. If you're not a if you're not a vessel that you know something flows from you and you and you pass it forward and you, and you this person you everything is just take 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 take. Yeah, and nothing is like I'm not. And this is not. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not saying it just for money. You know, people who can say like, yeah, but I don't have money. That's money's not the only thing you right, have to right. give. Yeah. You know, because yeah. again, it's about like a lesson and mentorship. Like you see somebody going the wrong way, be like, hey, you gotta go this way. No, don't yeah. do that. Don't do that. Yeah, I mean, this. I like that. Yeah, I like when I'm not hit. Like I want people to be like, oh yeah, he he, he looked out. Like I, yes. I don't know. Like, I yes. Just, and plus, you gotta understand one thing. If you like stingy with money, 
Yeah. People don't say this. You're stingy with your emotions. You're stingy yeah. with your relationship. You're stingy with like, oh man, you gonna meet us up here? Like, no, nah, I don't feel to drive up there yeah. because. Because you're stingy with everything, you stingy with your time. You're yeah. not giving. You're not. So it's that, that's how it works most of the time. Sometimes I'm like, that's I why mean, I spend all my money. <laughs> I, I I leave it all out there. How much you want? Uh, no, I'll give don't you spend, some. Don't spend your money. And again, I give this everybody is not, money here. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is not for you to go out there and just you know. I, just, I didn't say be an idiot, you know. But what you want to do is be generous. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, I, I leave, you don't have to be with money, but with no, generous, at with least your, with information, with your, that's more valuable than anything, right? Just bro, with information. The whole point is, let's yeah. say I'm doing something, right? Yeah. My whole point is not, if I if I say like, well, we can get this job and I'm making 10,000, 20,000 a month yeah. on this business, my, my, the best way to help you is not to take you and say, oh, this is what we're doing. Yeah. No, it's to teach you and say, hey, yeah, this is how you can do it for yourself. Yeah, that's kind of what I wish. I they give you the money. For sure, man. I kind of wish because in, in the States, at least, there's like, it, it, it's, it's a little bit more blended now, but there's kind of two different types of scenes, like what's considered the white mainstream comedy scene. And then there's okay. like a more like the black, what they would, they used to consider urban scene. Okay. And what I noticed like a difference is, and I mean, I'm not saying as I think, but I noticed that like the the white comics with each other, they're like, they're like very helpful. Like they'll, they'll put you on their podcast and they'll elevate like a, a, <sighs> another guy, like pretty thick. Not to say that the black, cause a no, lot of no, black no, comedians no. have showed me love, yeah. but I wish we was all like together, all, all, together. all like that like more which where, yeah. where it was like sometimes i hate this this happens a lot like sometimes you watch interviews because i'll watch like the interviews like you see you see a white comedian doing an interview like for whatever and they'll just ask them normal questions but you see like a a black comedian doing an interview like when they when they interview like kev they'll ask him like oh what do you think about what cat williams said or the ask cat what do oh, you think they, about kev said and it's like why why are we trying to why are we why are you creating this why are we creating this thing mm -hmm. like they don't they don't create that for themselves i never i never really heard like seinfeld saying his like negative opinion about louis ck like they just don't they just don't operate that way so which i wish we was like more like that which like stop saying bad <sighs> stuff about Bro, that's, that's that's a that's a valid point that's 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 valid that's yeah. valid okay so how do you how do you, you deal with new fame i'm not I don't or have like, it. Yeah. I, I just don't have it. <laughs> that, that's how. Oh, like, so, so, but 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 I see. I, I say this from a standpoint like, you're gonna come in special. You are, and you're gonna be a great comic. I, I kind of feel like you have great work ethic, and you like you got yeah for sure. Head, I, you got your head. I got the work like, for sure. The, the ethic. So yeah. you only need all you only need is like. The, all the, you need is opportunity, so you you getting that. Yeah, you know? um, look, I'm I'm definitely I'm definitely on the path, but I, I the way I t t everything that comes like even like doing something as huge as like a HBO special like that was huge. Like I had billboards around New York City like with my face on it. Being from New York, that was like insane. I couldn't what, even what imagine. What did your that. friends? I'm sorry. Uh, what did you, what did uh, your friends say? They were just like, I mean, if, if they, like my friends who were like really close to me, like mm -hmm. they, it, it's not like a, it was overnight for them. So they saw like the growth because okay. like before I did the HBO one, I did a Comedy Central half hour. And okay. so they saw like they were just like they were proud, but they it wasn't like a, a switch where I went from like nothing to like things. So they, they watched it grow a little bit. But um, I'm still like excited, like about like. I, I still let the small things excite me, like little stuff. Like when people like people follow me or reach out, like I, I'm still excited. Like when you follow me, I was like, oh shit, I was telling my boys, like <laughs> I, I, um, um, Spider, Donovan Mitchell, he followed me too. And I'll I be talking like when the, when the Knicks was playing uh, Cleveland, I was talking shit to him and he was talking back and he was talking about, yeah, I'm gonna come out to a show. I'm like, yo, this is dope as hell. Like, he, I, he like cool dude. He, yeah. came, he came out of Greece uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, great dude, bro. You don't, you don't understand like, He's one of those guys. Like, it's not a lot of them in the league. Yeah. Like, we, we should be. You know, I think I kind of feel like the NBA. A lot of guys, a lot of our guys, we should be way closer than yeah. where we are because it's the competitiveness. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. I get that. I get yeah. that. Same, same thing with the comedy thing. It's more the competitiveness because we grew up on hip hop, and hip hop was supposed to be competitive. So then it leaked out into every other field. Every other field. Bro. Yeah. But uh, I, like I love this guy, bro. He don't understand how he plays. His work ethic. Yeah. And, and then. If you notice, like how he played this year with the Cavs. Yeah. No, he's yeah. a he's, he's a monster. He's a monster. He's, yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he's a monster. He's, he's a monster. And, and again, I don't know if this is he's here for ages. I don't know if this is considered tapering, no tapering. I, I don't know. I'm not. Well, I'm tapering. I'm just giving a compliment. Spider, don't, don't come to the Knicks. I don't have any <laughs> affiliation. You cannot find him. Come to the New York Knicks. I'll be DMing. I'm like, yo, I know he's a he's a Mets fan. I know he was supposed to go there. They messed him up. Come to the New York Knicks. This is why I'm here. Very, very okay. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. recruit, man. But let me, let me, okay. So let me ask you another thing. 
do you uh where do you they show you more love in New York or where like which place they show you like like man um obviously I'm I'm from New York so like my like the the like if I'm gonna get if I'm gonna get recognized most likely it'll happen in New York more okay. more now it's it's happening in more places I was recognized in Kenya like because of social media like okay. they don't have HBO but they seen the social media stuff in Kenya so that was like a big deal um but but mostly in New York but it's it's, it's growing like I, it is growing like every like different places like yes. it, it it is uh growing but definitely in New York but to me like Anyone that like from somebody who shows me like, oh my God, to somebody's like, oh, aren't you that guy? To me, it's like it's still love, and I'm still love. like, shit, you know who I am. Like, so I'm still like excited about it. I'm not jaded yet. You know, you gotta bring me back in like five years when I'm like, the <laughs> no, industry no. sucks. There's no, no, no one no, out no, to I, get you. You know what? I'll, I'll I'll say one thing. Like, you look like one of those guys who you're gonna be you're gonna be cool regardless. You mm -hmm. look like that because, and I'm a. I got the no, like we call it the six cents, but the six yeah. cents basically yeah. is your gut. Yeah, That's yeah. your gut. Like six yeah. cents is your gut. So yeah. like you're gonna be cool, bro. You're gonna be cool. Yeah. Right? Hey, sorry to interrupt. Thanasha the Kubra here. And you can stay up to date with all your Ad the Kubra shop needs by following us at the Kubros. See all our products, lines, drops, and limited time gear coming your way. Out of the Kubros.shop. We're all bros. Thank you. Back to the analysis. I mean, I, like I, I honestly like one of the people I look up to is uh is uh, uh Kevin Kevin Hart. Uh, not so much like it, because of the comedy. I think he's hilarious, and you, when I seen like every time I seen him, he's one of the first people before I did stand up. Like I went to see, my, I had a girlfriend take me to see Chris Rock, and then another girlfriend took me to see Kevin Hart just before I started, and that's when I was like, I want to do this. So, like this is so cool, but not not only um about what he does on stage which i think is amazing but just like the kind of person he is like he's like always like spreading good vibes good energy like people want, want him around and like he's similar to me like he lost his mom when he was just taking off and like similar to me i lost my mom so when i was you so know hard, bro. Went to, so i know what that was like and i know that he had to deal with that so i always look like i know like you know coming up like everybody everybody like kind of that i look up to, that i looked up to like like Chappelle, Rock, they all look at Pryor and Murphy, right? And then there's a generation that came under that kind of look at like Chappelle and Rock. Um, and I do too, all of those guys, but I still, like I put Kev in there too as like a guy of like, look, I look at it as like, damn, this dude. So let me ask you, which one is his funniest joke, you think? Who? Kevin. Give me his like top three. Oh, man. It's just like, oh my God. When he said this, I was like, I couldn't. I, well, actually, I, I went. I did the Netflix is a joke uh, comedy festival this mm -hmm. year in Los Angeles, and I got to see him do his new hour that hasn't come out yet. Um, and he got some jokes in there that I was I was crying laughing, and like <laughs> I'm, I'm not one of those comedians that don't laugh. Like if I I yeah. laugh, like I go see anyone and I'll I'll be dying laughing in the back because I'm a fan. I'm okay. still a fan. But he got some jokes in there where I was like, I think this is one of his like. His his best work, but, really. Uh, but the classics for me, like when, well, like the real thing that put me onto Kev is like from the old special. I think it's from Grown Little Man when he does the uh, the battle rappers. Like you said, how how rappers be? Do you, you remember that joke? Where he does like how when when rappers battle, he's like they just just be looking at you. <laughs> he's like yeah, he's like he's looking. At, he's like you ready? You ready? Real talk. I, I kill. I was like that. That was like hilarious. <laughs> I think Kev is like such a great storyteller. I think he's like, like he's matters. like matters, one of the think, best right? storytellers. So, I mean, he's so good at it. It's like an NBA player who's like so good that it, sometimes it could hurt you because you're so good at this because so so you 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 don't sometimes you don't do all the things that you that like not to say he doesn't but he like I know he just he like something happens he just tells a story and it's like I'm like this is the funniest story I've ever heard you know so it's, it's like you see him on a couch telling the story and it's like fascinating it's fascinating the art of like storytelling especially now with podcasts now you see some NBA players you're like I didn't even know he was such a good storyteller like this like yes, you hear Kevin Garnett tell a story you want to fight for with him like he's I was, yeah, I was like nigga check up and you're like <laughs> This is an NBA. You know what's so crazy? <laughs> that, uh, and I don't know, obviously, you know, people in the NBA know this, but people also in the NBA, like, he, you know, he was, like, consulting and he talked to teams. Like, low-key, like, if he talks to you, and this, I know this from an offer, like, yeah. from my brother, like, he, he will have you ready to, like. Yeah. He's very motivational, right? He's like, very, like, what? Yeah. yeah. He's not even a question. Like, yeah. okay, obviously, I don't, you know, yeah. I don't, like, they're kind of, uh, the other generation, but I'm saying, like, bro, he. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, get, you, get you ready for yeah. playoffs. Yeah. It's so funny he, hearing he him talk. Get you ready to do anything you need to win, bro. Yeah. It's funny hearing him talk stories about, like, um, like, cause he told stories about like when he was playing and yeah. like or other players, like how he. I love his. Uh, I yeah. think is he what, what is that? Uh, I, nah, see now is he Showtime KG? Yeah, kinda yeah. Like some, some, yeah, yeah, it's great. yeah. It's so funny because like he always like I didn't know, and it's funny like I don't know. Matt Barnes is a good story to tell too. Who? Shout out to Matt Bar Matt Barnes. Oh, Matt, Matt, yeah, Matt yeah, Barnes, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Those guys like yeah, hey. Matt, yeah, yeah, for sure. And Steven, Steven uh, Steven. Jackson. Um, but yeah, but yes. he, yeah, he, he, like, he, he tells stories like. Like, yeah, I was so I, I was like, guard up, you bum ass. And I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot that NBA players talk to each other like that, like on the court. Cause you uh, just think you don't hear it, right? So you uh, just think like is is like I, I it's professional. So I'm more, I'm mostly like for me, yeah, the person like you literally I could be playing. Like I don't care about like hit me, don't hit me. But like people sometimes I think with the with the NBA just because sometimes a lot of people see you smile. Yeah, and they kind of take that as like. Yeah, yeah. yeah See, I yeah, got a, he, I got a big smile too. That yeah, they be like, oh you. yeah, he cool. Like yeah, he, yeah, you know, yeah. He's not gonna do anything. Or yeah. like, but uh, it's totally different, bro. Like yeah. you, you would be surprised how many guys like you shouldn't like mess with them. Yeah, <laughs> you, you would be surprised. Yeah. Be no, surprised. I went. You, I went. I went to see. I got. I was in L.A. Um, I just did a. I just did a cartoon movie. I did a, yeah. a voiceover for a cartoon Which movie. Which one? Um, it's gonna be out in this in the fall. It's called uh, Finnick. It's gonna be okay. uh, Hulu. It's a cartoon, um, and I and I'm Phoenix, so I, it's like a big thing. But anyways, I was out there, and I got tickets to go see um, to the Clippers game. It was Clippers versus Minnesota. I got courtside seats. Okay. In LA. It was like my first time sitting that you close. Gotta get like, you some seats to come hey. see the Bucks, bro. Yeah, now nah, I'll fly in there to see the Bucks. I was yo, if y'all would have, if, if y'all if would have beat the Heat, and y'all would faced the Knicks, I was gonna hit you up. For nah, seats. nah, I would. <laughs> To see I the Knicks. Um, no, nah, but I, I was like sitting courtside and I'm like, yo, like they just talk, like you see them talking shit. Yeah. I'm like, oh, snap, this is lit. That's you dope. see them talking shit. Yeah. And, and, but then it's like, like we already, it's a fraternity, bro. Like yeah. think about this like that, right? Yeah. For us, it's because we're all in the NBA. Like, so it's a fraternity. Yeah. So it's kind of mostly like, that's the level of competitiveness. Yeah. But then most of the guys just, you don't know each other. There's a lot of times when guys would be like talking so crazy. Yeah. And then you get traded to the same team and you boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's- I mean, know, it's competitive. Yeah. You show up to a park, right? You talk shit at a yeah, park, you, you don't know, the, you don't know how, who the guy is. And you gotta understand like, like I wanna say a number of like minimum 35%, 40% of the league, just that's the only way they know how to play. Yeah. But it's funny cause it's like, you're so like all the guys, like even the guy that you're calling a bum ass, He's better than everybody. Oh, like they, they're all so good. I, I'll give an example, right? They would be like, "Oh man, you don't play, or you do this, or you do that." Or they talk to the average, yeah. like I don't know, the tenth guy yeah. or eleventh guy who is not in the rotation, or he's in, yeah. in out depending on the night. But I promise you, like if they, if you play with him, yeah, you be, you ever played at like Rucker Park? You ever played? No, or? I wish I did. What, you like you, if you went right now, you could like score fifty easy. No. I'm not. A, I'm not. I wouldn't say fifty because I'm not a scorer, but I was a different score of 30, 35. That's play, that's and, a lot. And, and then and then for sure, but I'm I'm going to the rack every time, and nobody and they can't can't guard you. No can guard you. I'm pushing everybody. I'm ducking on everybody. Plus, <laughs> no, I'm I'm dead serious. I'm, plus, I'm playing crazy defense because if you let me like hand check and you don't call fouls. Bro, yeah. I'm stripping every time. I'm yeah. When you come to New York, let's go to the gym. No, go play. For sure. I, Cause I, I went like I told you, I went oh, to Christ the King. We have like NBA players went there. Yeah. Lamar Odom went there. Speedy Claxton went there. Yeah. Like some big names. But, ain't, but think about this: the names you're saying, like if we, if all these names I'm playing, it ain't easy to score 35. No, 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 if no. It's you against no, no, Riddle, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, for sure. No. But I'm saying like I remember Speedy Claxton. He used to come back and scrimmage with us. Like okay. he would just like come back and scrimmage. He used to just come up in his Bentley. He had the, okay. he had his ring when he got with the Spurs. Yeah. But he used to come back and scrimmage with us. And you know, you might come down, like he he take it easy. Like he's speedy Claxon, but he's moving slow. He's not taking nobody, yes. excuse me, he's not taking nobody serious. He would come down slow. So you might get him and you do a couple moves. You might score on him a couple times. And then he'll just be like, all right. And then he'll just <laughs> like score every point for the rest of the thing. Bro. Like without like no speed. Like he's like, I'm not moving. I'm not like no speed. I'm just better than you. So let me give you an example, right? If I can take the ball in the post and spin on somebody or spin to the right and dunk it in the NBA, bro, what do you think I'm going to do? Yeah, in, uh, I know. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing. Like it's just like you come to the other environment and all of a sudden you're coming, you, You'd be like you tower over yeah, everybody yeah, because yeah. you're like yeah. media. You this is what you do. Yeah, yeah, Every yeah. It would life. be the equivalent of that. But you know it's what? so it's so funny though because they they think like I'm sure you, you you walk into some gyms they'll think like oh I got it I'm like I got it. Yeah, you know how many times this happened? Yeah, like it's just because of my family too. Yeah. Like that makes it even harder. Yeah, if my yeah. name was uh, 
uh, but that's just something. Somebody be like, yeah. oh man, he's a great player, yeah, great yeah. defender, three and D. Okay, blah, blah, blah. just because like my brother, my other brother, my other brother. So everybody kind of did the comparison. Yeah. They're like, he's great. Yeah, and him, he's uh, yeah. whatever. Yeah. But then once they see me up close, they're like, oh yeah. no, yeah. they saying, yeah, they're gonna think <laughs> you, Giannis. <laughs> they're, gonna think they're like, oh no, yeah, no. But that that's crazy. You like you could really play. You go to a gym and you could be like, like somebody got it. You could be like, how do you want me to bust your ass? Like I'll do it that way. Like you want me to just shoot threes? I'll just shoot threes. You want me to dunk on you every time? Story, I dunk you every story. time. So. Uh, and this is this is the only time I've trash talk a fan. This is the only time in my life. I I really don't like I don't yeah. like trash talk a fan. But I did that did that because it was this kid, right? So this kid is in the stands, tall kid, Hooper. Yeah. And we're playing, we went to our like our academy. And in our academy, they had some kids, you know, in the end from Greece that were playing and everything. Yeah. So he's like, oh man. He's like, oh. So a lot of times when they see me in pictures, I kind of, I'm kind of like, they're like, oh, he's short. Yeah, yeah. I'm like six, seven, six, six. Bro. Yeah. But I'm short compared to six, eleven, yeah, six, yeah. ten. So I'm like, oh yeah, I got him. Or like, okay, looks, he looks just like me. Like, okay, bro. I said, all right, we're playing to eleven. It's ten zero. You only need to make one bucket. Bro. Yeah. I scored eleven. You straight. just take them all every time. You just take. But I more. took the ball like this, and this kid was like, I don't know, he weighed, he probably weighed the same. Whereas me, but he like, was tall too. Yeah, he probably taller than me. Oh yeah, he probably just probably. And then uh, I was playing, and then I got to like, I didn't say nothing for like nine, eight points straight. And then on the, and then everybody was going crazy. Everybody was like, "Damn, he was talking so much shit." Yeah. Like you can't even score one point. I gave yeah. him the ball. One time I scored like eight, and then I gave him the ball back. I said, like, "Score again." Block. And you just take. <laughs> Bro, I gave him the ball back. Then I played defense. Then I gave him. I scored again, and then I, I was like, "No, you got the ball." Like, oh, that's so game. funny. Like it's the levels. Like people don't. I mean, it's the same thing. It happens with comedy where it's like people be like, "Oh, you know, you're funny in your group of friends," and it's like, "Yeah, but it's one thing to be funny with your group of friends. Totally even different. even to do even to do like even now like on Instagram, which I don't knock. I, they be making me laugh like the the sketch comedians yeah. who they do funny ass sketches and that, and I think they hilarious. But I'm they're great. But, they're but great. That, I, 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 some of them like some of them are borderline. I think like genius. Like, what, they, like, you know Dizzy Banks? Yeah. Dizzy Banks. Hilarious. Uh, who is a Drewski. Drewski. Hilarious. East man. Ivo. Like, this is those guys. Is, is, is he East Ivo? So those guys are like, bro, yeah. they used to do so many skits. Yeah. Like crazy. It's so funny. It's ha -ha so Davis. funny. Ha Davis. Yeah. Ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> but, they, but like, you know, it, it's still like, stand up is like a different art, you know? So it's like, I'm sure they could do it, but they got to do it. If you don't do it, just because you got like 2 million followers on the gram or whatever, doesn't mean you could just get on stage and you're going to be good at it. Yeah, you, you, have to, you, have to, you have to do it and, and, and get better at it. Um, but it's the same thing where it's like, that, like people think that they're like funny and that like thing, but it's like, it's like, yeah, but you, you're funny with your friends. They know you, they know you're silly. They know you're the guy that does this silly thing. It's like, but it's a totally different story when there's 300 people that paid $50 to see funny and now you have to talk for an hour and they're not, and you, there's no context. You have to just create it. What you're saying, it's, it, it, it's crazy. I'm telling you this to people, people don't like, I give an example, like, oh man, make a free throw, we'll do this, oh, you gotta shoot. Okay, I get that, yeah. no problem, bro. But I guarantee you, if I put you to shoot, yeah. and I, it's just me watching you, and I start talking shit, you, you, you probably yeah. miss. Yeah, in the gym, just one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about like 25,000 people, yeah, bro. Yeah. You go in the playoffs, you go, so, and again, I'm not saying that to, you can, you know, you can never make, excuse, you don't never want to make excuses for off nights or anything like that. But what you want to do is like, once somebody realizes that, they become a fan. Like me, for me, anytime I've like met somebody up close, yeah. and I just shook their hands and be like, man, this guy is so, it's cool, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it's cool. And then they get to see like, damn, this, I get to see him play, but it's yeah. not the same. It's totally yeah. different. You know, do you get nervous the, when you like, when the coach be like, all right, check it. Time, no, on. bro. You just, you're focused. No, it's not the, only focus is just because I, I'm like, uh, I, I think about three things. I think about I'm blessed, yeah, always. For sure. Anything I do is a bonus. Anything I do, I don't care if it's a stop, a block. I don't care if it's like a layup. I don't care if it's a three. Everything I do, life is a bonus because you see people around us, like they're yeah. perishing. You know, people around yeah, us, like sure. people around us, they don't, they can't, you know, they, they, they miss it so much in life and I'm just blessed. That's one. Second of all, I'm fearless. Yeah. Like, Real, like I go in the court, doesn't matter who I play, how I play. And people know that about me too. That's that's why 
That's why they don't know what I'm gonna do. Like when I say me the question, like, what is what, like, yeah. So I'm fearless. Like that's dope. I play. That's and the third well. is like, it's my brothers too. Like, I, why y'all so good? Why? Like, what is that about? Uh, so I think it's three factors in play. One is genetics, I like athleticism. Your dad was good. My so my dad played soccer. Yeah, it was like almost my height. Played soccer professionally. Uh, like no, yeah, we call it professional back home. And then my mom run track, so that like that mix. Yeah, it's a good kind of like yeah, yeah, it's a good mix. So we kind of uh, get it genetically, okay, genetically like DNA. Then it's kind of like the the work ethic. I don't know, we just work a lot, bro. Like people, people might say like, man, what what can I do? What like it's easy, just get in the gym. <laughs> but you you do. like growing up in in Greece, right? Yeah. You like you do you remember ever not being the best in sports? Yeah. No, <laughs> you just always the best. No, it because I remember. I remember we came home, and this is how it started. I remember like was, you guys might call it like fifth grade, sixth grade, and we came home and we had. There's a picture online. You see, like we had like a might have had like a bunch of medals. So it was a day that you had to like do like volleyball, soccer, like we call football, soccer, uh, track, um, basketball, and we just. Crushed it. When I say crushed it, it was like, it was crazy. Yeah. And then we came home, and I remember my dad was so proud. He was like, oh, shoot, all this. And then in my head, I'm like, man, we're in Greece, but you can understand, like, Greece is so, such a small country. Yeah. But then I always think, like, if I grew up in the US, sure, I, I would have tried to play football as well. Like, what college would you have went to? Okay, it's between three. It's either I would have went to, uh, in, I was, I was Indy, Indiana, the Hoosers. Hoosiers, Big Ola Depot was there, yeah. kind of yeah. like. Yeah, I did, the, the, I did a show school. there before. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, Baylor, I kind of play physical, switch everything, just like uh, be aggressive. And then I want to say Louisville. Louisville, they kind of like zone press, pressed all the time, yeah. steals. Yeah. Like that. But but again, I, I see it and I'm like, man, these kids, like so much talent in the US. You don't understand how much talent that is. Bro. Yeah, you guys have so much talent that you don't even know who to pick for Team USA, bro. You can literally have like eight squads for Team USA, eight squads, bro. I mean, oh, before wow. now it's yeah. getting less <laughs> yeah, now. I mean, it's getting less now. Yeah, Jokic and now. <laughs> yeah, it's getting less. It's getting now. like they're like, they're actually complaining about that. They're like that the international talent is like taking yeah, surpassing it, the US. It is, bro. <laughs> yeah, and I, and we yeah. It, it is, but it's it's good for the sport, so it's good for the NBA as well. It's, this competition, yeah. But like, it, I feel I kind of feel like it's becoming so global that like you're having guys who have great work ethic coming in and trying to compete. And but you gotta understand the US set the bar though. Yeah, they did. Team you like did. like LeBron. They did. So, they did. With this yeah. guy, everybody. They you ever guarded the bar. LeBron? Uh, I think once, I want, once or twice, like you know, switch like this. I think we played a couple of years. Like, but I think the most difficult, like, give an example, like him, guy in LeBron, is he used to guard Melo though, probably. Yeah. Right? So yeah. in practice, bro, yeah. he used to like be like, "Oh man, come come guard me." Yeah. Practicing, this guy, bro, had everything. When I say everything, post up, hit you, go up. That's shot. the thing is like everything. When you guard, like when you guard, but like those somebody guys are like, you know how like people see them. It kind of feel like, oh, that's the norm, Melo. Yeah, no, yeah. that's not the norm. No, that's not the norm. Bro. But but you think it because you watch it on TV. Yeah. But, but like, I feel like when you like guard like Melo, when he missed, it's like I just missed. It's not. Yeah, he didn't miss you. Didn't you do. Guard. Yeah, like you could have been here. <laughs> I was. I'll make it. Those, those, that's how it is with those guys. Like yeah. him. Um, even Le like even LeBron and him. The yeah. KD like they just uh, you know like sometimes you know I see when people guard Giannis, and then all of a sudden he just missed a, like a hook shot. He missed. Exactly. Shot. He just missed. He low key just just missed. Be yeah, with you yeah. Because you get to a certain point that you're so good at what you do. Yeah, yeah. But I, I mean, it, I've heard them talk about it, and they're like, you know, whatever. You, you, they're gonna have thirty, but you just want to try to disrupt them a little bit. You know, you, go, you know, try not make, to make them let go nineteen for nineteen. Yeah, it's make him tired. If yeah. you get them to shoot, the realistic me as a as a, like a defender as well. If you get them to shoot forty percent. 30, ah, maybe in a good night, 30, like, yeah. something like that. You, you really rocking. <laughs> that means, like, you get them to shoot, like, four out of 10. Yeah. 
Is it good? This is great. That's yeah, great. Don't be on. A, don't be in foul trouble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you do, when you, when you, that era, when you, uh, when you came to the Knicks, well, even before, like when Melo came to the Knicks, that was my junior year of uh, of of college. That's like around when I started comedy. Okay. And like that was a bit. I mean, New York was just so bad for so long that like when he when he came, we was like, all right, like we're coming back. We're yeah, doing yeah. it again. Kind of the same energy now that we feeling now. Because yeah. New York, all you got to do is win a playoff game, and we're like, oh, we're winning the chip next year. You know the New Yorkers that it's we just fun we're like the fun, fun is great, man. Yeah, amazing fan base, which is, which is, we you have a, such an amazing fan base, which it's tough though. Which right? borderline puts some pressure, it's, borderline yeah. almost. Like, I mean, they'll boo. Yeah, they, they used to. They I've seen them boo mellow. <laughs> yeah, but 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 I'm saying you like, is either you make it or you don't or you can. You know, yeah. but uh, at the same time, I feel, kind of feel like if they take a step back and kind of like get somebody once they get him, just appreciate him regardless yeah. of what he does. Yeah, that would be so much. From the player as well, yeah. because like, if, if if you love a player when he plays good, and then you hate him when he has an off night, like you don't give him a lot of room to work. Right. You right. don't give him a lot of right, room right, to right. love you guys. Right. You don't give you don't build a relationship because at the same time, think about this like the like Milwaukee. Oh man, bro, just like we won a championship after fifty years, bro. Yeah, that was crazy. After fifty yeah. years, that like, was crazy. Like. Like the room they have gave, like the family gave Giannis, gave each player that's come to the Bucks, the room to appreciate them, to feel like a family. Like Are you one. a king here? No, no, I'm not. But like if you show up nobody. at the club, is the, is the section opening up? I have, believe it or not, I have five years in the Milwaukee. I might have been out once. I yeah, because really you spent years in New York. You was like, what am I going to go out there? No, no, no. <laughs> but, but even in, when I was in New York and I first got drafted, I kind of was the... Not the nerd type of like Come on. guy. No, seriously though. You I, went out. In New I went. York. Of course, I went with out with the JR Smith gang. And the not not JR. <laughs> no, they, they were kind of old. They didn't hang out with me, man. They they were, no no. They, when I say they didn't hang out with me, I don't mean like they was rocking me. Like I would have like Sasa, who you see the other guys yeah. always take care of me. Always like great guys. But I just you know I was in the other team at the time. Yeah. I was in the G, in the G League. I was yeah. growing up, and then I got a call up. Kind of was with the team. Yeah. When uh, Derek Fisher was a coach. Then uh, and oh, then Derek Fisher was your coach. Derek oh, okay. Fisher was my coach the next year. Yeah, so yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then I left. Some lean years. No man, <laughs> it was it was it was it was great. Yeah. And I, you know, great guy. He he was very like on the fundamentals as well. But then, you know, me and uh, like I remember, I used to ask Melo like to this day, bro. This guy, you don't understand how 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 amazing this guy is. Like when he 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 announced he's retiring like a month like, like yeah, a month ago. Amazing. But you don't understand. I was sitting on my, my couch. I was like, bro, I can't believe this, bro. Like, and you know, this generation now kind of like, you know, they're brushing stuff off and be like, yeah, bro, it's Carmelo Anthony. Bro. Yeah, I was a mellow guy. Like, growing up, like, you, my, you know, my friends, Shout you, out either, to Carmelo Anthony, you were either bro. LeBron or Melo. And I love Bron too, but I was like a mellow. But you're, like, you're a New Yorker, though, Yeah, right? yeah. yeah it's, like, it's, you came it's to New York, yeah. But the, the appreciation I have for this guy, I used to ask him all the time, like, hey, man, what do you. What do you think about this? Like the family's thinking about this. Giannis, you know, he's thinking of nothing. You know, he's thinking about coming to the Knicks. <laughs> we heard it here first. Hey man, hey man, you heard it here time. first. We, we, we. It's, this, it's gonna be a topic on first take tomorrow. First take, gonna be no, like, no, we, Giannis we is coming to the Knicks. No, oh my God. <laughs> and you ever been to a comedy show? No. I'm trying to think. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. You gotta come to a comedy show. When you Which in New one? York again? During the season. Any time, yeah. you know, I, I, especially if we have a game or something like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. And and if you have one close, like or the Chicago, yeah, yeah, or Wisconsin or anything, I know. Like I don't know how. Oh, by the way, what, when's your tour? Oh, uh, I'm on tour right now. Um, I, I'm I'm all over. I uh uh my my dates are at my website at ianlaralive uh, dot com. Okay. And um, I don't know when this is when this is coming out. This will probably come out. Like two, three weeks. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know where I'll be when this come out, but I got dates next month. I'll be in Hartford, Connecticut. I'm in Kansas City. Then I'm taking August off, um, spending some time with my family. But then in September, I'm back on it all over the U.S. Uh, touring, going to keep it going. And then I'm announcing more dates for next year. I'm going to keep it going probably until like I could get another special. Exactly. They'll probably do like another year sure. of touring. And if you haven't watched it, watch the specials, streaming on Max, Romantic Comedy, Ian Lara. And my HB and my Comedy Central uh, half hour is called uh, Growing Shame. That's on YouTube. You can watch that for free. <laughs> you can watch that for free. And you can watch all the Tonight Show sets. They're up there too on YouTube. 
For you free. heard that first here. Please watch, go watch it. Yeah. But try to watch the HBO though. Well, try to watch this. Uh, give my. You get yeah. royalties from this, or you get no, no. Time? You just get it. No, they don't. They don't tell you how well it does or nothing. Nah. Oh shoot. Sure. You okay, just okay. kind of hear it in the streets, like okay, like how like people like oh we loved it, but they don't they don't tell you because they don't want you to be like. Well, look how well it did. <laughs> don't, don't just be like, oh, it did bad. I, so totally you know, understand. Nego negotiation I want, thing. So I want to ask something about the romantic comedy. But yeah. uh, before I say that, I just want, again, uh, what I was saying about Carmelo, like, like you don't understand how much I appreciate this. This man, bro, changed the culture, bro. Like, people who wanted to go to New York City or from overseas wanted to travel to New York. And the first place they wanted to go was the Garden. Yeah. To man. see Car and this And to hear the announcer say this. Carmelo Anthony. I bro. remember when he scored. When was it? What was it? He's 63? Oh my God. Was it 63? It's unstoppable, bro. I, I was at, I, I watched that game. My mom had just got back surgery. I was in the hospital with my mom and I watched him score 63. I remember that. There's nothing you can tell him about this yeah. guy, bro. Nothing you can tell me. Like, smart player, knew when to, even on defense, knew when to, when to be there, when not to be there, put his, you know, self in the right position and just like go crazy. Yeah. Go crazy. Yeah. But again, okay. Goal. And now, and shout out to, you know, hopefully uh, we get to see him in Greece. I'm inviting him in Greece. I, you know, I think he travels a lot overseas. I would love to have him. I was, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him too. I'm gonna make sure. Yeah. He he sees this. It makes about the romantic comedy, bro. Yeah. So romantic you, comedy streaming so, on Max. So how do you how did you think the how did you think it went? What do you mean? Comedy, this special. How do you think? Like, oh, for me, <laughs> I, I, for me, I think, I think, uh, and shout out to uh, my director, uh, Ida Rodriguez. She directed it. Mm -hmm. She also is another funny, funny comedian. She has a special out also on Max. Make sure you check that out. It's Ida Rodriguez. Um, we planned. Uh, we well, we sat down and we laid out what we wanted to do. Uh, visually. Uh, the look that that we re we both really liked, we kind of wanted to give it a, like a, a nineteen like nineties Def Jam look. Like, okay. So it's like we got a smoke machine. The room is like very smoky and and foggy and and hazy and has like yellow lights. There's no curtains. It's just like bright lights. Um, that's how we wanted it to look. Like aesthetically, we wanted a look that we wanted to do that uh, we felt like specials had kind of went away from. And we were like, what do we just go? Everybody's trying to like invent the new stuff. Let's go back to this. We haven't seen this in a while. And uh, what and were you wearing? I had a I had a black I had a black leather jacket and um dark denim uh black matte pants. It looked like leather pants, but they matte pants. And it was a heat wave in New York. It was ninety five <laughs> degrees. I was sweating my ass off in that in that thing. We had the we had the AC blast, and I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I went out there and I and I and I powered through. Um, but aesthetically. Uh, all thanks to Ida and the production company, Angry Buddha Productions, who pro um, produce and people at HBO, Viva Films, Edwin and and Victor at uh, Viva. Um, it was it was what I wanted. But then comedically, I remember after my mom passed, I I went on the road and I really hit it. I, I was like on the road every weekend, and I was like. I want the whole, it's called romantic comedy because it's like a lot of dating stuff in it. And it's like a culmination of stories of like dating stories from like my 20s of me and my friends and stuff that I that I heard. And I kind of wanted to touch on like all the nuances and the new forms of like how to be our age and like dating, how how different it was. It is. Than when our parents were dating, I kind of wanted to mock a lot of that stuff. So I'm making fun of a lot of stuff. It's like, it's like a very sarcastic look at like oh, romantic bro. comedy. Sometimes people watch it, I'm like, you don't get the sarcasm. Like I'm being sarcastic, <laughs> like there's a sarcasm <laughs> undertone to it. Like I'm being sarcastic that this is how we do it now, you know? But I personally, I am very happy with that um, piece of work. Like I, I I, knew that like you do something for HBO, it's something that lives yeah. forever. Like I can't make that go away. Right. Like I can't call them and be like, take that down. It's there and they'll, and they won't take it down, it'll be there. So I wanted to make sure that it was something that I was happy with. And as I go on, in, in my career, I imagine the more people that know about me, they'll go back to watch it. So I always want to make sure that even when they went back to watch it, they would still yes. be like, all right, this is funny. This I like funny. this. Yeah. So you come out of stage, you go like, like, hey, don't, don't stand up, don't stand <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> you go like, don't stand up, don't yeah. stand up. I'm like laughing. I'm like, yeah. oh my God. But no one's good. standing up. <laughs> <laughs> no one's standing up. <laughs> I'm like, sit down, sit down. Was like, good. keep the camera on me. Don't, don't look at that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and and then I, I filmed it in New York, and I got people that like that was like 
um, you know, it, it was a lot of my my people that came out, like yes. not not necessarily my family, but like people who have been following me, who who fought. you know, people love to find like an underground thing, like you know, when you at the top, they hate you, like they're like, oh, he, he's done. But people love like a guy who like, oh, have you heard of this guy? When you're the only person who's heard of somebody, like people love that. So like, I have a lot of that where people's like, oh, you haven't heard of him? You gotta hear him. So I had a lot of those like of, of my uh, my people come out with and 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 since then it's just grown like after that i got like major opportunities i got to do like the breakfast club i got to do the tonight show again I how's, how's the breakfast Center. club i mean for me that was like a dream too like that was a dream in itself like i i i grew up watching the breakfast club like that was the interviews that was like joe rogan for us like this, that, this, for this. like all the artists or, or, or whoever so when i got that opportunity to me and i got to do it before angela Yee left so it was uh charlamagne angela Yee, and envy and and myself and Ida, that was that was great. And you know, I was like, I was like, damn, I hope, I hope Charlemagne ain't, you know, like how he, I ain't want to be in one of those clips where he's telling you you suck. But uh, but he's he's gotten therapy and he's a great dude. I did his show on Comedy Central too, and he showed me nothing but love too. Charlemagne has been super like like positive and uh and and helpful to me. So okay, so I'm not from here, right? Mm -hmm. And you're trying to explain the kind of ex explain the, to me the the culture, right? Mm -hmm. I come, it's my first day in the US. What do I have to do? What do I do the first day I'm in the US? But okay, I'm from New York. So yeah. you gotta say, you in New York? I'm in New York. Okay, yeah, yeah cause it's different. I'll it's go different to New York. You go. New York. you go. If you if you in New York and it's your first day yeah. and you come here, I'm not gonna send you to like the, you know, I'm gonna I'm I'm let gonna be you like do. the bodega. Yeah. Nah, nah, I'm gonna let you do, if on your first day, I'm gonna let you, cause it's gonna be eye opening. The first time you see a guy masturbating on a train, you're gonna think of something wrong. But I'm gonna be like, listen, <laughs> relax. This is not, he's just, that's what he does. He sits on that side. Don't worry about it. He's harmless. So I'm not gonna send you, you're gonna have to adjust. You're gonna, I mean, you need a couple days to adjust. You see the, you know, the host got masturbating, got pulling out his dick. That, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you to the tour place so there's more people around you. Cause there's people around you, you feel safe. Cause you as a tourist, you might see a train, you just train pull up and you like, oh, this cart is empty. Let me go to the one that's empty. But you don't understand that it's empty cause somebody just took a shit in it. <laughs> so this is like New York rules that you have to understand. So I would be like, follow the crowd for now. Cause you're not ready to be out there by yourself. Maybe I'll send you out for like a week and then I'll recoup and see where you at mentally to see. Cause some people, people with New York, people either love it or hate it. Like some people come and they'll see that and they're like, but I love it. I just love the energy, the art and everything. I just love it. And then some people's like, I hate it. I'm, I'm going out. So I got to see your energy there. But I would send you to like do the touristy stuff. If you want to, I feel like if you really want to feel like the, the fabric of New York, like okay. the heartbeat of New York, especially when you come to the arts, I feel like it exists downtown in the village, like the West 4th, okay. West Village area, um, where the comedy cellar is, where the Blue Note is. That's where you get like live jazz and and all the great comedians started uh. there like from carlin and pride like all of them used to work there joan rivers and all of some of the greatest artists like like the bars where lady gaga used to perform before she got you know became lady gaga i feel like the the heartbeat of like the arts is like downtown but it exists throughout the whole city because this is also up in harlem too obviously you know that's like a, a whole nother uh world of of, of good culture and art um but I would I would definitely tell you to to, to check that out. I, I always tell people go check out West Fourth. Um, okay. The, it's the so West what's 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 the meal I gotta eat? What what do I eat like on New York? Like, what do you say? Now you can say both ways. You know I know you Dominican Dominican as well. Yeah. So. Oh, you want a Dominican food? Nah. All right. If you want the Dominican food, we gotta go uptown. We going to Washington Heights. Uptown? Yeah. Okay. Uptown. Yeah. Washington Heights, Dykeman. We gonna get you some Dominican food. See, I'm I'm like I'm like now that I've been traveling the world, I'm like expanding like what I eat, like different things, like because I've learned about like different cuisines. Like I just learned about Lebanese food in uh, in Dubai, oh, and okay. uh, and then I went to New York and then I found a Lebanese restaurant, and I'm like I didn't even know we had this. This is amazing. That's the beautiful thing about it's New great, York. They have great. everything. Um, yes. If it's late night though, if like if you go to some, you go to the club, sometimes you want to eat after if after the, a late night. I would take you to get some halal food. That's okay. like the chicken over rice, pita, white oh, sauce okay, if you okay. like it. I don't I don't eat the white sauce, but mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> but the halal food is uh that's that's definitely like a dope late night food. Um and then of course you gotta get pizza, right? Go okay. to Joe's Pizza. That's probably my favorite pizza. Joe's Pizza, there's Danny's Pizza in Queens, that's one of my favorite new New Park Pizza in Queens. Um, there's Spumoni Gardens, there's a lot of good pizza. I love pizza. You like pizza? Yeah, I, I love pizza. We got so we kinda 
So our pizza, like uh, in Greece, is kind of something in between. Uh, uh, not, not you know how people have the like the thin, thin crust, it's yeah. a, the thin pizza. It's, it's more of a t- no, I don't want to say Italian, but like more of a. Yeah. But for us, like we we have good pizza. Like when yeah. you come through, you see, like yeah. it's, it's good. Uh, yeah. So let me ask you. So what about a dessert, bro? And, but don't, don't say it. Don't say it. What are you gonna say? No dessert. Dessert. A Dominican I'm, dessert, bro. A Dominican dessert. The Dominicans do. They'll do like like. Have you heard of tres leches? <laughs> I think it was good. Okay. Uh, um, I'm not a big dessert guy though. I'm oh, not okay, a big okay. dessert guy though. I don't. I, don't I like, love. I, I love it. By the way. Do you? I, you a sweets guy? Bro, no, I'm not. I'm not a dessert guy, but I love like. Tres leches, like yeah, yeah, it's fire. Right? It's fire. Yeah, bro. yeah, I like tres leche too. That, that's probably my. I would say that's my favorite dessert because I'm not a big dessert guy, but I do like chocolate chip cookies. Like, okay. I, yeah, like I, I'll find like I'll be finding like mom and pop cookie stores in the city, and I'll go get chocolate chip cookies. I like to try them out. I like insomnia cookies in the city. Bro, now we do that. We're talking about dessert. I gotta send you something. So, as a company, it's called Candy Fun House, bro. Yeah. You do not understand what kind of candy they have. Like it's insane. I'm, I'm gonna good. send you a box after remind me after the <laughs> right. after the day. I'm, I'm gonna send you sure. a whole box. Like it's 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 good like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's great. I'm gonna send you the if you want to order for your friends as well. Send yeah, you like the the website and the Instagram stuff. Like it, they got some crazy stuff. Too. Yeah, I'm send me free stuff if y'all watching. Y'all want to send me free stuff, people? Because listen, sometimes people think like I'm open. I'm for sale. Like you can send me free stuff. I've I've did this thing a couple. I did it like a couple months ago where. I did a joke on stage about, you know, um, uh, Liquid Death, the water company, yeah. Liquid Death. Like I was just, ro- I was kind of roasting them. I'm like, this is like aggressive marketing. It's meant yeah. for like white guys, like whatever. And then they reached out and they were like, hey, we saw this, this was funny. You want us to send you free stuff? And I was like, yeah. So they sent me a bunch of boxes. So when I was thinking, I was like, what other brands could I do this for? So you can do it for, just say it, just look at the camera right here, just say it. Where, whichever, no, no, I'm not even kidding. Just say whichever bag you want. No, bro. look, we so look, I, I did it. I, I went to, uh, when I went to Kenya, I flew Kenya Airways. And before I went, I sent them a message. I was like, hey guys, I'm going to be flying to Kenya Airways. Can you guys give me an upgrade? And they was like, no. And I was like, okay. So I went to Kenya and then I did a show. And then when I got there, I found out that the Kenyans, like they make fun of their, the Kenya Airways, they make fun of it. So I did a bit making fun of Kenya Airways and then Kenya Airways saw the bit and they, they reached out. They were like, hey, uh, are you still in Kenya? We'll fly you back. You can come check out our lounge. So now I'm doing this for brands. <laughs> Rolls Royce, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> you're next. Wait till you see these three you, minutes I got on Rolls Royce. Oh my God, if you go say something, go crazy, go crazy. <laughs> Oh, uh, but wait, hold up. Do you think that, uh, like, is it is it weird to you that, like, how the world works now that you just say things and people, like, just reach out and say, yeah. say stuff to you? Yeah. It's weird to me that more than that, like, it's weird to me is, like, you could speak to somebody. Like, back in the day, you could never speak to people, right? Like, if you had an opinion, like, now, like, if you watch the special and you don't like it, you could just DM me, like, hey, this sucked. And I'm going to see it. <laughs> like, I'm going to just be like, I'm going to be just like waking up and I'm going to be like, all right, all right. And I just got to go out about my day. Like, Eddie Murphy didn't have to do that. Like, I mean, obviously, his specials was great. But any, if you thought it sucked, you, you just had to keep it to yourself. I, like, see it. I mean, you can tell your friends. like, Yeah, I ain't never right. But it would never get to him. Never now, did. immediately, you they'll be like, this suck. And they'll at you. At Ian Lara Live. And I'm like, why are you telling me this? Like, Man. just let me he, live my life. That's crazy that, like, I could DM LeBron. Like, and he'll see it. Like, he'll, <laughs> and he'll, he'll be like, who the fuck is this? But let me ask you another question. Do you... So wait, you watch all your social media? Your social? I try to not to anymore. I, I At first, it wasn't big, so I could. It wasn't like a lot, so I could. But you know, it gets a little crazy. Yeah. Then, you, then you, you can't keep track. Yeah, I got like, I'll, yeah. like I'll, I try sometimes, but I got mostly like, you know, team they like post and they do and I, I, but but then obviously you got you get to like approve your pictures, yeah, approve yeah. Your, like videos yeah, 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 and stuff yeah. like this. Yeah. And uh, but then you know you only want to see like if it, if you're like you know I I get to talk to you on Instagram to talk to people who I talk to every day. Yeah. And then you know obviously if I get the phone number we talk yeah, and yeah. that's it. But yeah. The thing is, like, how big this is right now. Like, you could just say, literally say anything and they see some stuff to you. So, yeah. Let me give you another example. Uh, you see, like, all this, like, either product placement or people be like, oh, man, please talk about this in your podcast or anything like that. They say that things. to you? Of course. All the time? Of course. Yeah. But, but, but it's normal because, like, at some point, like, that's how you, especially yeah. if you're independent and you yeah. don't have a network, you, that's, that's kind of how you... Yeah. 
like uh, pay the bills and pay the bills too for your podcast, for the studio, for the yeah, for, like yeah, all yeah. the people are behind the cameras and everybody, you know. But at the same time, I think I kind of feel like it should be products that you like. Yeah. To be yeah, that's authentic. it. Yeah, it'd be podcast. It should be products you like. Yeah, because I get a lot of stuff, but I don't. I don't. Like I promote the stuff. I'm like, oh, this is really good. Mm -hmm. It happened with Jordan though. Shout out to Dame at Team Jordan. He saw I was wearing Jordans in one of the specials, and he reached out and he was like, hey, I see you like Jordans. I was like, yeah, I do. Send me like some Jordans. Send oh, me more. Say, Shout out to Dame. We're gonna send you the Zoom Freak fives when they come out. Bro. Yeah, gotcha. send me the Zoom Freaks. I got you. they come out. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Thanks to the Kumpo here. And if you're looking for all your other the Kumpo brothers official gear, you can go to adadakumpo.shop. We have hats, hoodies, shirts, anything and everything you need from our collection is available at thecoopers.shop. That's at thecoopers.shop. We're all bros. Back to the podcast. All right, so now I have a section, right? That uh, it's called Amazing Facts. Oh, weird facts, however. But you're not supposed to know them, but I, but I want your reaction. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first one I got there on my notes. Hold on, let's see. So, no, okay, you did the special, you know, romantic comedy, mm -hmm. right? Did you know that women only, like, swipe right? You know, women who just swipe right are about, like, 5%. Actually, I did know that. You did know yeah, that? Yeah, I did know that fact. Yeah, yeah. Is that I did. crazy? I did, yeah, because all my friends don't even, they'll be talking to you, like, and they'll be swiping right like this. All my friends are like this. They don't even look at the picture of who they swipe right Why? Like. Why is this? Because right? they're like, if she likes me, then I'll decide. Right? Like, why Why am I gonna... <sighs> Got you. Yeah. <laughs> Got you. Okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I was like, why would you... Don't yeah. you want to see, like, who you... you no, they're like, if, okay. if, I'll see if she likes me. Okay. That is good. 5%? Like, 5%, they, bro. They hate no, everyone. So it's... No. No, they don't. It's just... I don't know what it is. <laughs> it makes sense, because my friends... I mean, I'm off... The, I don't do the, the online dating thing anymore, but I did it, you, like, you. before. When you're younger, it's yeah. different. But now, like... Yeah, and my friends used to tell me, like, my friends she used to be like, I got 10,000 matches, and I will have, like, 100. <laughs> 10,000? Yeah, she, she was crazy. She was like... Most, I, I've had a couple friends tell me that they delete the, the, the Tinder, the online dating, because it's too much matches. Like, it's like, I don't know. She's like, I can't... It's too much. Like, too much... Yeah, I thought, uh, yeah, old fashioned is way better to meet somebody and meet like, a person. You think so? Uh, yeah, I mean, what what do you? I think I think the the first part is like meet meet a person and then kind of like see the socials and then see the socials, see kind of like because you talk and kind of see how how this person looks like and then and then and then be like, oh yeah, because a lot of people don't have Instagram like that. Or if I meet you, if I if I if we if I meet you in public and you tell me that you don't have an Instagram, I'm gonna assume you're on the run from the law. That's how I look at it. If if Why? if you have no social media <laughs> trace, I'm gonna assume you committed a crime, and there's a Netflix documentary that's gonna come out about you in a couple of years. <laughs> that's how that's how I look at things. I need you to have a I need you to have a footprint. I need but, you to have a. But 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 then again, like I believe, and this is my opinion, right? That like I feel like at some point in like I don't know, ten years, twenty years, they're gonna be people who do this job, like to take you off the grid. They're going, you're going, you're going to, you're going to have like, you're going to, they're going to be services that you pay. I'm like, bro, take me off. Like, I don't want nobody like bothering me, bro, no more. Yeah. I mean, maybe because quicker than that, money. right? Oh, I get, maybe, I get the Instagram maybe quicker because than people, are, you know, have big social presence. And this is for you and for your fans. Yeah. That's how you, yeah. you know, people who support you. And, and not only for you, for them to buy a special or like rent your special, it's mostly for you to give back. You know, when you do like free lives, you do this. Yeah. Once you reach that level, like yeah. you want to give back and you like, I'm doing yeah. this for my fans. I'm doing that for my fans. And they can reach out. But at some point, like you're going to be like, all right, okay. I don't know. I'm I saying, want like, to, I, I've thought about that. I thought about just like deleting my gram before. Like I thought be, about it's that. It's going to be hard. But uh, people are going to think I died. <laughs> they're just like, they're, like if you delete, <laughs> If you delete your Instagram, like people just imagine, like you're all right. He's he's out of the world. Like he's just not mm -hmm. part of the world no more. I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. Okay, let me go with the next one. So, did you know that there are now like <laughs> I don't even know how to say this snuggery services where you can hire somebody to snuggle? I knew you. a snuggler. <laughs> I knew a professional snuggler. I'm not making this what? up. Yep, I met a girl. I met a girl at, at a show. This is a couple of years ago in New York. And we were talking and she was like, oh, yeah, you know, I love comedy. And I was like, what do you do? And she was like, well, this job is kind of weird or whatever. And I'm like, what is, what is it? She was like, yeah, I get people pay me to, to a professional cuddler. Yeah. You snuggle. You go there and I snuggle. And I'm like, 
what do you mean? And she was like, yeah, you, there's a thing. They hire me and I'll go over there and we'll just snuggle. And I'm like, like, I thought she was telling me she was like a uh, escort. You know, I thought she was yeah, like, okay. I was like, so are you sleeping with these men? And she's like, oh no, no, we just, she looked at me, I was like, oh she no, right. yeah. She looked at me like I was way out of line. Like yeah, like I was way out of line. She was like, oh no, no, I just, I, I, I snuggle them and then, and then I go home. And I'm like, well, is it like, I had questions, you know, like, are you like yeah, are you naked? Course, like everybody. She's like, oh no, it's just a job. You go, you cuddle. Like I'm, I'm, I wear, I wear like something comfortable. And then, and then I go home and I'm like, what are you having? And it's like, if you're well, not, thought, if you're not working right now, it's cause you're not trying to be honest. Cause <laughs> you could be out here snuggling. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, let me hit you. I gotta hit you with something different. You yeah, know I knew all both this, bro. Of them. What's I knew going both of them. on? Okay, let me hit you with this. Right? Did you know that only one to two percent, right down here, of the total like world like population, are like redheads? Yes, I swear to God, I knew bro, that. What's going on, bro? You're the first person who does this to me. Bro. I'm not lying. I swear to God, I knew it. Because nah, look, I have a story of why I knew it. I have a story of why I know oh, it. Okay. Oh my God, I have a clip about it actually. I think on my Instagram, I was doing, I was doing, uh, I was doing a show, and I was uh, doing talking to a guy in the audience, and he told me that he 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 wanted. He said he was like in his fifties, but he was single. And I was like, "Why are you single?" He was like, "Cause I only like redheads." And I'm like, "Oh, is there not enough redheads?" And he was like, "Well, only like two percent of the world's population are redheads." So that's how I knew that. I was like, "Is that real?" And he was like, "Yeah, that's how I knew that's not." He's still he's still single, or he's still like yeah. This was like a couple weeks ago. He's like fifty. It's over for him. <laughs> <laughs> are you go? Why are you gonna say that? What? Wait, I want to see. I want to see if there's one I don't know. Oh my gosh, I got you. I got to. Oh my god, I got to go back to the drawing board. Okay, I got you some here. Okay, now I got to hit you with some totally random for you. Okay, so did you know, like the crime rate in Iceland is so low that the like police don't got don't carry guns. <laughs> don't say. Do not say that you knew that. Do not say that you knew that. Dude, you're gonna think I'm lying. I swear to God, I knew that. Bro, how did, okay, tell me how did you know I that? I swear to God. How did you know that? I knew the Iceland thing because I was in the UK, right? And in the UK, they don't have guns. We, the, we either. The, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, they don't have guns. And I was like, this is ridiculous. How do you get around with not having guns? And somebody <laughs> told me, well, in Iceland, there's no crime at all. They don't even need guns because they were saying in the UK, we need weapons. We just don't have guns. But they were like, in Iceland, they don't even need weapons. Like, they don't have guns. They don't need nothing. So I, 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 knew, the, I knew that information. <sighs> My God, but I'm hitting you with like. I swear I'm not. I, I promise you, the first person who does this, bro. I I'm swear I really knew these things. Oh, I'm not now, making now, it now up. I gotta find something crazy. I'm also like, I, like I'm big on useless information. Like that's my thing. Like I'm like a. I'm trying to surprise you yeah. with something now. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's something there. I don't. Hold know. up. Are you uh, like you know Marvel? Like Marvel heroes? Like DC comics? Are I know them a little bit. I don't know. Okay, them good. No way you know this, bro. Okay, so did you know like uh, DC Comics uh, had like a like an alternative like uh, universe that they published that like listen listen do not say this do not say this listen that like in this one that uh, that actually like Bruce Wayne dies you know how like his mom and dad dies and he becomes Batman so he, in this one he dies and then Thomas Wayne his dad becomes Batman and then his mom Mar like Martha like becomes like the Joker okay. So I'll you tell did. you. I'll tell you the truth. If you say but no, I'm no, gonna, I'll I'm tell you walk. the truth. I'll tell you the truth. I'm gonna get up. I did not know that specific thing. Okay, okay. But I did know that they had an alternative universe thing. I, I did hear that. Okay, okay. But I didn't know the specific. Okay. Because I'm, I'm not. I'm not super big into mom. So I didn't know the specific. But I knew the alternative <laughs> universe existed. Yeah. yeah knew, and then like, it, which is crazy. I was, I was looking at it. I was like, Are you big into it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't I'm know the specific right. like that. Okay. Let me. Okay. So thank God. That's like. That's. I mean, but I kind of knew it. I kind of knew that there was the alternative thing. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, I, if you know this, bro, I don't know what to say after this one. They're gonna think we're pretending. They're gonna think we're no, <laughs> bro. I, this is real. Not, first of all, we're not pretending. I don't real. know how you guys who like hardcore fans who's watching every episode like you mm -hmm. know like I, I had the stories though. I, I like you think I'm just creating yeah, you these had, stories you of how the I know. You did have the stories. So. Okay. So, uh, did you know, right, that the entire, have you ever watched the movie, like, uh, Finding Nemo with uh, the fish? Yeah, but I don't remember it. Oh, okay. So, did you know, like, the entire, like, Pixar staff, 
had had to like graduate a class in like fish biology for them to create this movie. No, I didn't know. This, that. The whole staff had to like go to school and no, graduate. I didn't know that. Like, thank God. You, why is that true? Is that real? It's true. Oh, it's true. I didn't know. I mean, that. the internet can fact, fact check, so <laughs> it, <laughs> they'll let us. Know, I didn't know that. That's which crazy. is crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. And now I got to give you another one. Now yeah. you're, you're killing me. I got to go back to. You know what? Okay, let me give you this last one. Mm -hmm. And this is an animal fact. Okay. So did you know like that uh, that an octopus has like nine brains? I don't know. I don't know if I knew that. No, you don't know. You I don't know, know if I knew that. Either. It sounds like I might have, but I don't want to say I did. Okay. And has like uh and like its blood is like blue. And I knew that. Uh, has like three hearts. Three hearts? Three hearts, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Does it need all of them? I don't know. I'm assuming. I mean, you really don't want to lose one. Yeah. <laughs> I to it. Like, yeah. I went, when I was in Kenya, I did a safari. Have you ever done that? Yeah, I did, we did it with the NBA Africa at some point. Oh, in, yeah. Uh, where? In, uh, in uh, South Africa, I think. South Africa? Yeah. Nice. How, what did you think? Well, how was the safari? Was it good? Yeah. I saw all the animals, man. I learned I learned a lot of random animal facts. Were you like uh, normally in a, like a van with cages? Or you a was van, in a van? No cages. Just, oh, okay. Or you could open the window and... They, the animals got pretty close, like how, like our distance. Are you scared? No, I wasn't because the tour guide, uh, we had like the tour guide, like I built a rapport with him like okay. before we got there, and it just seemed like he knew what to do. Hey, you and trust I, people like yeah, that. yeah. He, he just, I mean, he convinced <laughs> me. Like he was just naming facts, and he just convinced me. He's like, oh, I'm, a, I'm an expert now. Follow me. Yeah, now. yeah. He's like, oh, you know, you'll be fine. You do this, you do that. But yeah, got to see a lions and all that cheetahs. Okay, okay, but you killed me. Like this is. You're killing this interview, interview podcast, however you want to call it. You're killing it, man. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit you with uh, some uh, some questions. All right. So, so, are there any like life lessons like you wish you knew earlier? I mean, you're young and shit, but I'm just saying. Um, I will say yes and no. Um, I remember like first when I first started doing comedy, and mm -hmm. uh, I don't want it. I don't want it to sound like. Uh, cliche, but I used to when I started blindly. I used to like hope for like to be able to do cool shit like this and be able to like fly to Europe and Africa and be on HBO and be on all these things. And I spent, even though I was like, <laughs> I, I I stuck with it. I spent a lot of time doubt, doubting myself, and uh, even now to, to a certain extent, I doubt myself more than I probably should. And I wish. I wouldn't do that. Like that's a lesson that I learned. Like, like believe in the thing. If you, if you mean it and you dedicate what it requires, believe in the thing. Some people have the belief, but they don't have the the drive or the will to do it. They yeah, it's the willpower. Like, yes, you sir. have to do the thing, right? You can't just be like, I'm gonna be in the NBA. You can be, but you have to do the work. So if you put them both together, nobody's nobody. You like nobody's gonna give you something you can't handle, and and, and if you can't handle it, it's gonna. Just right, not be there. So that that would be like a lesson of like believe in yourself more. I know that don't sound like I feel like the uh, the I'm sorry uh, the, the 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 attractive thing to say is like most people come up here and they'll be like oh I always knew I was the best I always knew I was the thing but no, you in just, reality everybody got like stuff they insecure exactly. about. exactly right? everybody's insecure about stuff and yeah that is, it's great that you like. You you give you give the human approach because everybody wants to be superhuman nowadays. Yeah, yeah, nah. You just you know. Yeah, I I go the other way. Like I go the other way. <laughs> like you you know you know like the like the mamba mentality. Like yeah. The, or not even maybe not even it's not even the mamba mentality, but it was like I guess how Jordan was where it was like I gotta win at all cost. I'm the opposite. I'm like lose. It's all right. <laughs> like you can lose. Just keep so, doing it. It's just a, keep, keep doing it. Just win. keep doing it. Yeah, it's you fine. It's fine because Jordan did lose a lot. Like, you know, sure, he didn't lose Everybody. maybe in the Everybody. finals yeah. or whatever, but he lost at things. It's not like he only, no one just wins. It's impossible. Nobody. Right? But Nobody. but the thing to tell you like, oh, you should never lose. I'm like, nah, you you can lose. You just keep doing it and keep get back up it. and you won. Yeah. I failed at a lot of times. Like a lot of the things that I've wanted to achieve in like the last few years, I failed at it a lot. Like, and, and now like... Uh, like I'm like this year at the Montreal um, Just for Laughs Festival in Canada. It's one of the big, it's the biggest comedy festival in the world. Um, they just uh, announced uh, a couple of days ago the Variety's ten comics to watch. Like it's a yes. big list that comes out of like the ten supposed to be the hottest new comics. Um, and I I was named on that list um, this year. How'd you feel like, about that? 
I mean, it was it was amazing for me. It was like I I used to like dream about it when I first started, and I was like, I don't know. I, there's no path. Like in comedy, there's no path, no path that tells you like, oh, in 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 sports, there's like kind of a path where you could be like, well, if you go if you start playing yes. basketball, then you could go to this school, and then you could get seen. And so I didn't. I had no path. So it's like climbing a mountain. You don't see the top. So it is a big deal. But I remember auditioning for for the festival just to get new faces, which is like I did new faces two years ago, which is like a bigger list where they say like these are the new faces of comedy. And I auditioned five times before I got it. I got it on the fifth time. No, yeah, I got it on the fifth time. And then two years later, I got Variety, which was like it's like a huge a yeah. snowball effect. Yeah, so I lost. Well, yes, five times, and, and then I got it. Yeah. I think. What you say? What you saying is so so great. Like I, you know, when I do my courses and I talk to like either kids or people, even people who are older than me, yeah. they you know they come up to me. We ask, we talk about business, you know, everything. And I say like, you, it's okay. You know, every, nothing's gonna go. It's not everything goes your way. First of all, I mean, most things won't. Yes, most <laughs> things won't go yeah. your way. Plus, like, you know, everybody's like, okay, it's okay to lose. Of course, it's, it's okay. But what you want to do is like, you don't want to live your life saying like. I don't want to lose. Yeah. You want to live your life saying, I want to win. Yeah. Yeah. Is it yeah. is the difference? I know I'm not I'm saying the same thing, but it is a difference. Yeah. Because in one thing you're saying, like, oh, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. But like your psyche is different. So get down. Yeah. But when you say, like, I want to win and I yeah. want to win and I want to yeah. win, it's it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's it's totally different. Yeah. It, it, this and then you attract things. It's not by chance. I keep telling this to everybody. It's not by chance that all of us in our family have a championship. But I'm, I'm not saying this just to say it, it's just because we talk about it every day. Yeah. Like when, when Costas won, you know, my, my younger brother won with, uh, with LeBron, AD, and then with the Lakers, they won the first championship. First thing he came home, we said like, man, we're so happy and everything was like, okay, how can we do this? How can we That's win? That's crazy, y'all all got a ring. Yes, and it, which, is, which is dope. I mean, you know, the dope part people don't understand about this, bro. Like my mom, like you go like, to create, like it's like a museum, bro. You walk in, you're like, damn, I'm in the NBA. Store. I'm in there, like, yeah. You're looking around, you're seeing MVPs, you're seeing like the uh, ring, you're seeing like uh, uh, defense player of the year, you're seeing like, oh, most spectacular player in Spain, me, you're seeing Costas, you're seeing like everybody's just like, man, what's that's this? amazing. You know, that's it's, like, it's, it's, it's a feeling for us, like, especially being proud and everything. But to what you're saying, like, just you strive to win and you can yeah. win, you can win. Yeah. yeah. And replicate that feeling as much as you can. That's all yeah, you can yeah. do. Yeah, you know? yeah. When it, uh, the thing is, like losing, I guess it's just if you, if it's the f if it's the last, right? If you stop doing it, then it's a loss. Yes. But if not, then you keep doing you it. You keep and, doing it. Like I don't think about now. I just say it kind of laughing when I talk about like all the times I auditioned and I didn't go. Like that they were just like they passed over me and all of my friends, like all of the comedians who I started with, they had went to the festival already. So they were already doing things and like I was just kind of like just working and yes. working and working and and then I wouldn't go and then I, and then I stopped caring about it and I started just like trying to better myself and that's when I I got on the Tonight Show and then yes. the next year I went and then everything's been up since then and now I'm excited to go to Montreal this year that's like a big thing that's like a big deal let's get it yeah let's get I'm bro I'm trust me and like I've watched what you've done I, I like I love it bro I love it and I, Obviously, I'm in your corner, bro. If you, like, if I appreciate did, that. Yeah, 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 I, corner, I, I appreciate First. that. It's... Okay, so let me ask you another question then. Yeah. Uh, what's the most like useless talent that you have? Useless talent? That like, you don't use. That's why. I, yeah. You know, useless is like a like you don't use basically. I think I'm. I think I know a lot of useless facts. <laughs> so honestly, like this game that we played <laughs> was probably the only time where it ever came out like. Oh, you look, you, yeah, like, Bro, you're useful. You was killing it. Yeah, like, other than that, know? like I just I just know a lot of random things that people are like. Why you know that? <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's, this yeah. is why. This is why. Okay, okay. What is the funniest way that you've ever like got injured? Like I don't know, like the funny. I, honestly, right now my knee. This is my knee. This is what happens when you. And I, I'm only 32. I don't want to make it sound like I'm an old guy, but you're not. Bro, my knee why? is killing me. Cause I slept wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I'm sleeping, but I woke up and my knee felt sprained. So I'm nursing this back to health. I'm rehabbing my knee back from a bad sleep that I had. <laughs> what do you mean you slept, bro? I don't know. I just woke up and my knee was hurting like a lot. And I, like now it's, it's like 
It's like I, I had a limp like over the weekend. Like I was I was limping over the weekend of how I slept. That was probably the funniest way, just off sleeping. But that's what they say, right? You get older, you just hurt yourself sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> who says that? Who says Well, you're not. I mean, you come from a, the, yeah, well, the well, Tentacumpos. That could happen to them. But <laughs> to regular people, <laughs> you know, they regular people get injured. Okay. Okay. I'm just... Uh, okay. So what is the nicest thing this anyone has ever done for you? The nicest thing? Yeah. Um, you could be more... You can more people. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people have done a lot of nice things for me. I think the nicest thing for me... What I would say would be my mom and dad allowing me to pursue this crazy dream that I had and and them like allowing me to do it and even them not knowing what it is or where it would lead or just trusting that it would lead somewhere. Man, that's big. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I'm a, you know. You. Um, okay, so let's move to the next section. The next yeah. section is like this or that. You don't have to pick, but okay. So vacation or staycation, like basically. I I you know I used to be staycation. Okay. But since the pandemic, when we was locked away, I was like, when things open up, I want to do more stuff. I want to okay. do things. So now I would say vacation. Yeah. How did I, how did how did the uh, how was your like? Yeah, it was it was it was. By the way, I'm sorry to end it up. By the way, it's crazy that we talk about it like after so many like yeah, years, bro. I know. Like, I know. Um, to be honest, I, in 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 New York, obviously, it was one of the worst places, like thing. But for me, when the pandemic hit, it was the first time in I think almost like eight years at that point where I didn't do stand up in more than five days. Like it was the first time in eight years I had never went longer than five days without doing stand up. And when the pandemic hit, I didn't think about comedy for three and a half months, and it was quite. I think it was nice because I wasn't worried about what the next person was doing or if they were getting by. In hindsight, some people became huge during the pandemic. I should have done that. <laughs> I should have been doing what they was doing. The people that started a podcast or started doing TikTok, okay. I should have been doing that. But I needed that rest and I needed that recharge. And when we came out of it, I had a different type of like motivation. And then, and I looked at it differently and it helped me in that way. Man. Yeah. Man, okay. Okay. Were you here or in... I'm, I was here the whole time. In they, Milwaukee? In Milwaukee, yeah. Damn. But it was, it's hard to say when, you know, everybody was going through this. I had so much fun though. Yeah, I'm sure. In that mansion you live in. No, I don't. First of all, I don't live in the mansion. I don't live in the mansion, but it was all together. Like the whole family was together. So that's I, one, so yeah. Like, see, that's the thing so. too. Like I, I had just got my apartment. I had got a new apartment. Okay. And in my in, and in my apartment building, my sister lived in one apartment and my brother lived in the other oh, apartment. Oh, sure. So and I yeah, and my mom was still alive. So <laughs> she, you know, she got sick after the pandemic. And so we was, and then in the summer, when the summer came, my sister had a summer home. We would just go to the summer home. It was like, Fun times. I did have like family members that got really sick, and I lost an uncle, and of course that was like sad. But hey. but like the other parts of it, and watching like everything on Netflix and all that stuff, that that was like okay. You, you was watching like you watched everything. Yeah, the whole Netflix. I'm sorry, <laughs> the whole Netflix, I, every category. I, I finished it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, okay, so uh, be embarrassed or be afraid. Which one would I prefer? Yeah. Be afraid. Be afraid. Why? It's embarrassed is embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassed is embarrassing. I'm about to be afraid. No. Afraid, I feel like, is within. I mean, okay. I guess embarrassed is within too, but embarrassed is like. It's how you feel. Like, like seeing you. Like, see you. <laughs> Okay, okay. My family's like big on that. Like, we're like, don't embarrass us. Like, don't be in a, don't embarrass us. Like, is that, okay, is that a, so that, that's three factors. Is that a, is that a migrant thing? Immigrant I, thing? I think it's an immigrant thing. Is it, is it a, I think is, it's it, an is it a New York thing? I think it's the New York thing. I definitely think it's an immigrant thing uh, more than anything. It's the immigrant thing where like you come to, like, cause you come, you come to the country and then you're like, listen, don't like, we, we, this ain't our place. Don't embarrass, don't be out there like embarrassing okay. the, the family. Okay. I know that feeling. I, I, I got you. So, okay, attend a party or host a party? I like to I host a party. Okay. Yeah, because I, I, I feel like I'm very big on detail, like attention to detail, and I like to, like, have things 
like li- like the little things that like you won't see at a party. I feel like I could do that to have people be like, yo, did you see he had the... <laughs> You know, did you see he had the like the candy from that place you said? Like yeah. no one got that candy. Yeah, like, <laughs> That's the, like I like that to impress okay. people like that. Shout out to uh, Candy Fan House. Yeah, you see the Candy Fan House. He got a whole bucket of candy. Fan House. <laughs> okay, um, roommates or leave alone. Live alone. Live alone. Yeah, I had a. Roommate. Yeah, got to worry like. Nah, I had a roommate in college, and it was cool. It was like one of my best friends. He was cool, um, and that was great. But after that, by myself, I'm very particular. Yeah. Uh fiction or nonfiction? Um I like I like fiction. Why? Um, because I feel like when it's I like the endless opportunities to make something good, right? Like without having to stick to like this yes. actually happen. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's valid. It's valid. Okay, it's valid. Nonfiction okay. is real, right? Or fiction is no real. fiction. Is, uh, wait, nonfiction is real. Real fiction. Yeah, fiction is yeah. like yeah. I because sometimes a lot of times like with jokes, people be like, like, oh, did that really happen? Like exactly how you say it, and I'm like, what does that matter? Like it's it's, a, it's, it's a, funny. It's, a joke. Like, it's funny. I'm more impressed if you tell me it didn't happen because I'm like, you just created that out of your head. If it really happened how I told it, then what's my skill? I'm just repeating what happened. Exactly. But if I created some of it, it's like, oh, that's the skill. Imagine, yeah, it's imagination. I, my, yeah. my, my, crea- my creative TV, abilities yeah. to create. That's why. I guess with fiction, it shows your creative abilities, yes. like creativity. Yeah. Plus, you know, I just thought about a joke Kevin Hart made about the raccoon doing this. Yeah. Bro. Which? <laughs> yeah. It was so yeah. funny. Yeah. Especially, I'm a Marvel fan, so if you watch uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, you see yeah. Rocket. And the, so see him saying this, I was like, yeah. bro, I, I was trying to like picture it in my mind. Was, yeah, yeah. So I was laughing, but there's a way more I could just did this. Yeah. But you know, some people ask. Some people yeah. are like, okay. Okay, so another one, board games or video games? Um, If I had to pick one, I like them both, but... I used to play video games when I was uh, younger and then I didn't play them for years. And then during the pandemic, I got back into it. That was like another thing. What kind of game? Able, it's just sports games. Sports games. Yeah, just either, the, I played the baseball and the 2K, that's it. But just being able to get back into it with my boys, nobody was working, everybody was at home. We started online leagues. We just felt like kids again. That was like a lot. That was like good. That's dope, that's dope, that's dope. Okay. Uh, Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. Me too. I don't kind of feel yeah, like Twitter. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, know. Twitter gets you in trouble, man. <laughs> what? Twitter gets you in trouble. First of all, Twitter is too much like people's opinion, which is, it's not good. I mean, you're supposed yeah, to voice. Yeah. Yeah, I get, I get, yeah. I understand what you're saying. Okay. I look at Twitter like, you ever been somewhere, like, you ever been somewhere, like, I don't know, like an airplane or anywhere and like, they make an announcement and somebody raises their hand to ask a question and then everybody starts raising their hand and you're like, here we go. Now that's how I look at Twitter. Like everybody just raising their hand and you're like, what the fuck do you have to say? And you're like, now what do you got to say? <laughs> oh, so true. That's so true. Okay. Okay. So this is the ability to see the future or see the past. See the past. What do you mean? I could see the past. No, 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 no. I'm saying not your past, anything in the past. So your ability to go back in the past or the ability to see the future? Oh, the past. Why? To go back to the past? Yeah, basically see. When I say see, basically be able to see any event. like it, it And change like, it? If I could change it. If you could change it. Yeah. Uh, no, you can't change it. Only see. To understand why that happened. Um, I probably, I, I probably, if I could change it, definitely the past. But if, if I, and I would only change one thing. Um, but it, but without what would you change? Well, if 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 I could if I could go back if I had like a time machine and I could go back in time, I would just go back a couple years and uh, have my mom get screened for for cancer and have her still be here. But if 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 I couldn't change it, yeah, because I have a better understanding. The future is like, man, this is like if you know the future, you might as well stay home, right? It's like, right. What, what do you you know? Like, like, what, you, what are you looking for? Yeah, what are you looking forward for? You know, I'd rather know why and be better equipped for the future, if that yes. makes sense. Yes, no, I love your answer, bro. Hmm. Okay, so be able to speak to animals, or speak <laughs> that'd be, ten, that'd be or cool, speak, or speak ten foreign languages. Probably animals. 
Animals, huh? Yeah. Why? Imagine you had dogs that you could just talk to and they just, just be Well, like, every dog. Just yeah. Like, hey, bro. She <laughs> yeah. Yo, chill out, bro. Yeah, that'd be cool. Ten <laughs> languages. You just going to hear more nonsense from more people. That's not, that's not good. All right, the animals. That's true. It's just like 10 different languages, four languages. I mean, it's like. That's Kobe, right? Kobe spoke like mad languages. Yeah, but you, like can about this. you can speak Chinese, Russian, uh, Greek, uh, um, Spanish. Like, Spanish, Italian, uh, let's say Serbian, and then you can speak like your Japanese, add Japanese into it. Like it's crazy. Yeah, it's so you can go to any country and be like yeah. fluent. But it's like, if you like, if she like, oh, what do I need to speak Serbian? Like, I mean, how many no, times am I going to be no, Serbian? No, I'm just saying. I just, no, I know. I'm saying language. if I took the 10, like, why would I, like, some of these languages, I feel like I would never use them if I spoke 10 of them. Yeah, yes. I, will, I feel I like. True. I, well, it I'm, depends I, on how you travel. If you're a traveler, you want to I'm going to go to Serbia now every time? Every no, time you don't have to. But, like, imagine, like, think about this. You're in, a, you're in a, like, a company, right? And you have, like, somebody who's from Serbia. Or maybe they, I can do comedy in that language. That'd be something. And then all of a sudden you do yeah, uh, you can become a superstar. Yeah, that would be something. Yeah. You can do in every language. I can do it in every go, language. Become yeah. a superstar. I'd be like, bro, this guy's funny. In 10 yeah, different yeah, languages. Ten different <laughs> languages. I'll definitely be the goat if I could do that. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. So here you want. Let me give you the last one. So, TV series or movies? Ugh, that's a tough one. I'll say movies. Movies. Okay. Um, how, because well, how come? because movies it goes back to like the creativity when you do different movies it gives you the ability to jump into like different characters and explore different things as far as like mm. when you do a series you're that person for the whole series right okay. sure the person grows but you can't go yes. for you you're not this person thing and then you're Batman <laughs> at the yes. end of the series right but if you do movies you could be Batman Excuse me. You could be Spider Man. Okay. Then you could be, you know, in The Hangover. You could be. Yeah, anyway, you could do true. a whole that's bunch true. of things. You know. That's true. So okay. that's the goal. Which are your favorite top five movies? Top five movies yes. uh, ever. Uh, I would say Goodfellas. Goodfellas is number one. I like uh, Goodfellas, A Bronx Tale. I like Training Day. Okay. Uh, that's three. Um, I know I'm blanking out on some. What do you got? Which one you got? I definitely got. Uh, uh, Goodfellas, yeah, top five, and Godfather, obviously, yeah, yeah, also like, yeah, but this is so. Oh, you be from New York, that uh, you see like New York in the movies, do you get surprised? Yeah, I mean, Good Goodfellas actually, like that movie, like the bar that from the Goodfellas, the bar, the one that they burned down, is uh, was uh, about five minutes away from my house from where I grew up, so yeah, that that was. Like pretty it's cool. Crazy. Yeah, you, you see a lot of the play, like the things. Like for us, I remember the first time we came to the U.S. and I like saw like Times Square. I'm like, it's just like in the movies, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because yeah. in the movies you always get three cities. So cities you get is New York. Sometimes you get L.A. Most of the movies, and then from overseas you get Tokyo, Tokyo, London. Shanghai, Tokyo, Tokyo, and London, London, yeah. and London. That's the cities you get. Like, yeah. you're like oh shoot, yeah. okay. Something's yeah. about to go down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, yeah, for sure. The those those uh, the, when you see something from the movies, you, you're like, but you kind of, you know, you, you you if you grow up on it, you you're like more used to it. You're like, oh yeah, that's where they filmed this. And sometimes you'll be walking, you'll just see them filming. Like they were just the other day, a friend of mine uh, from my old neighborhood, he posted. I don't know what they were filming, but Brad Pitt and George Clooney was just walking down the street. They were filming like a movie there, and then Brad Pitt and George Clooney in Queens is filming. Um, a lot of celebrity, yeah. yeah, yeah, I can see that. So, okay, well, so what's next for Ian? What's next for Ian, man? Um, I hope, I hope to get, you know, I got the specials out. I hope to get more people to watch my stuff, to get more people to uh, to know about me, and if they enjoy it, to come out to see me live. Like that's go that's see my boy Ian like, live. You, if I you, promise you, yeah. If you if you like like the special, like the thing, watch it. Come watch it live. Like like. The, the live show is is so much more, I feel like it's better and it's like, it's intimate and it's, and it's live. And um, yeah, I just want people to come out more. You know, I have a, I have a TV show that I'm in development with right now with uh, 
with Chelsea Handler's production team. So we're trying to. What's it? Get what's that. it called? What's the TV show called? Uh, we can't. I can't. Oh, uh, <laughs> I can't say it yet. And so how you want us to promote it then? You no, no, it? no. I, I'm saying like it's not done yet. Like, oh, because okay, 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 okay. It's not. It's say. not sure that it's gonna be made. That's yeah, I want to say. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> don't okay. Don't jinx it. But yeah. uh, but but I'm saying. But we're trying to we're trying to get it made. Um and and hopefully we can get it made. Um, there's a writer strike now, so we're waiting for the writer strike to end to to move forward with that. But we got Chelsea Handler on board, which is amazing. Shout out to the to that production team and. And I just want to keep working, man. I just want to keep growing and doing cool, cool stuff like this. That's what I want to hear, man. Please go follow him. Go go crazy on his comments. Follow yeah. this guy. I'm go to his shows. Greek flags. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of Greek flags. <laughs> Greek flags, Nigerian flags. Yeah. Please. Oh, yeah. And he's I, from I New York. I can tell you, I'm 15% Nigerian. You I did, lying. I did my ancestry DNA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I want to go to Nigeria, too. You've been to Nigeria, right? No. I'm you never been? I'm going this summer. Oh, oh yeah. Time. First oh, time. It's been so Big crazy, Niger. but I'm, yeah. I'm going. I'm going. That's right. But uh, what I wanted to say, like I was saying, go to his shows. I'm gonna make a big commitment. If you don't like, if you don't like his shows, I'm gonna pay for your ticket. If you don't like his shows, you can go to, go up to him and say, "Hey, Thanasi sent me. Thanasi's the podcast sent me here. You know, send me to your show. You better go crazy." Oh man, <laughs> nah, look, come out, man. People who people who've been coming out, they 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 have a good time. Like, if look, go on my page, go on my Instagram. Is my name is Ian Lara Live. And look at some of the clips and read the comments from people who were at the shows and them telling you like it, it's it's a fun time and you know and I hope to keep to keep growing. I wanna yes. I wanna be able to like like come to a city and be able to like sell out and have people coming out and that, yes, that's sir. that's why I got into this. Like the movies, the TVs, everything, all of that will be great. But I just want people to really like like the comedy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Plus. Please go follow his podcast. Oh, yeah. Plus, I got the Adulthood Podcast. Me right. and DJ APM. Check that out. It's on YouTube and wherever you get your podcast. It's the Adulthood Podcast. It's a look, it's a mockumentary podcast. It's just me, it's me and my boy. He's a DJ, big DJ in New York. And uh we got we we would just We gotta do one we, we gotta do one one time with three of us, bro. You gotta be Yeah, for one. sure, for sure. No, for sure. Through. You know what it was? We used to laugh at like you used to see all these podcasts. Cause this is obviously like this is like a good hearted podcast where you really talk about stuff, oh, yeah. you really break stuff down. But on the internet, we kept seeing all these podcasts where it was just like two guys or a bunch of guys just basically talking nonsense about like women and dating and it's either one guy who like thinks women shouldn't do this and then the other guy thinks that men should pay every so we would just so we was like yo we should make a podcast so we we make a podcast where we do talk some serious stuff but it's mostly us just joking and mocking it's good those it's good guys I mean, that's and, it's, it's your it's kind of your niche as well too like yeah. people like for me I just learned, you know, that's why it's called analysis. So yeah. I can learn and, yeah, yeah. and learn the culture and understand people and learn your story, you know? Yeah. So Yeah, and it's called Adulthood, the Adulthood Podcast, because we're he's I think he he's 33 and I'm 32. And we're two guys from New York who are like trying to figure out adulting. So that's like the theme of it. Like we're that's trying to good. figure out how to be grown ups. That's good. Like, that's good. Oh my thing. God. So check out the Adult Hub podcast and check out the, the Comedy Central specials on YouTube. If you put my name on YouTube, you're going to see so much stand up. Like once you go on YouTube, you see all my stand up. Just put Ian Lauer. You're going to see everything. everything yeah. Hey, there. and again, please support, go and support. I will. Yeah. Please go support this guy. He's, he, he has a dream, and man, he's making his dream is becoming true, man. Thank Follow you, his man. journey. Thank you. Yeah, and journey. if you like it, just like if you like it, just hitting the like button on it, like <laughs> does wonders. Like you don't have to like spend money, you don't have to buy anything. Just like when you see it, like it, tell a friend about it, share it. That's enough. That's so small, right? It's such a it's small like, thing, man. It's, With it's the nothing. algorithm, that's everything. <laughs> As a social media, that. yeah. But and again, thank you guys. I have a surprise for you guys. Uh, don't know when exactly, but I'm gonna have. Uh, Two episodes the, during the coming, probably during the summer. You're gonna we, announce y'all coming to the Knicks? No, <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna have two episodes with fans. So uh, in one of the posts, I'm gonna put down, uh, we're gonna make uh, like a giveaway. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world, like if you're in New York or if you're in Greece or whatever, and whatever I am, I'll probably fly you out and we'll come do the podcast. Yeah, come do the yeah. podcast. So it's gonna be fun. Hope you guys will enjoy it. And again, as always, I want to give you guys a big thank you. Thank you so much for supporting this. This is built like it's been just me, you know, just doing this. And man, I, I love it. You know, I'm trying to give you guys as much contact. You know, I, I do like once a week, 
I know you guys are telling me like I should do more, but you I know. think once a week is the day because they always say do more, but once a week is a good pick because you're doing it yourself. It's not yeah, like yeah. you even gonna have a quick <laughs> basketball and start no, podcasting. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. <laughs> maybe when I'm done, maybe when I'm done, we'll see. But thank you, you guys, so much for supporting. And please, under the comments or uh, in the post, let me know who you like love to see next and who who'd you love to learn about this story and everything. If you want to subscribe, if you want to see the, if you want to see the socials, go at Thanasi Ante, uh, Thanasi underscore Ante forty three. If you want to see the socials, Ian Lara Live. Ian Lara Live. Yeah. See, look at his socials; is, they're amazing. Yeah. It's, it's growing so fast. And uh, if you want to watch uh, the YouTube clips, some of the YouTube clips, you see it at the, at the Cubros uh, TV. And we have, we're gonna have some surprises for you guys as well. Thank you guys so much. And if you want to listen, if you're a listener and you want to listen to it, you can go, I mean, wherever you get your podcast from, in the, wherever, in every platform. And again, thank you guys so much. Ciao. Analysis is recorded at No Studios, Milwaukee's creative hub and production studio.